How sweet to be an idiot. That's right. We back That's for another week. Mm-hmm. The podcast about absolutely nothing. Well, I guess it is about something. Depending no, we on got it. stuff now. We got stuff. We got content. Yeah. yeah. People falling for the bullshit. We selling yeah, this we dream. We selling this motherfucking dream. <laughs> <laughs> this snake oil or whatever that shit was. What, Sh- is, uh, what is it? Fool's gold? Some shit like that they sold on the Mississippi when they would go around. Slaves? Slave. Slave oh, oil. Slave, slave <laughs> oil. That was the first Jerry Coil juice was the slave oil. <laughs> my name is Charlemagne the God. I'm Andrew Schultz. And this is the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Mm-hmm. Uh, salute to everybody that has been subscribing and ranking us <laughs> on iTunes. We really appreciate <laughs> it. See, hold on, hold on. Did you guys hear how he tried to slide right through that? <laughs> subscribe and like... I su- can't fucking pronounce it. <laughs> yes, you can. What is it? T- it's subscribing. Subscribing? That's it. Subscribing. Yeah, but but you said it real light. You were like subscribing. I'm actually doing it on purpose. I'll be like subscribing. Subscribing. Yeah, because yeah. I want them to scribe to like Man, shut the freak. <laughs> I want y'all to I want you I want different subgenres to scribe to listen and rank the podcast on You know, iTunes. if you existed before <laughs> Google, do you know how influential you would be? Do you know how influential Charlemagne you would be if there was no Google fact check and you just walk around? No, subscribe. Subscribe. Sub- subscribe. Like, like you're a scribe. Different subgenres scribe to do and things. Just people are like, oh, maybe he's right. Well, yes. There's no way to check. That's the thing when you say some shit, like especially when it's some bullshit. Yeah. Just just sound like you believe it. Yeah. Oh, dude, just be loud. Nah, not really loud. If you say anything with confidence in a loud tone. Confidence and projection. And projection, yeah. yes. Be- co- project and say it confidently, and people will believe, Puerto Rico's not a real place. Exactly. You're going to tell me it is? You're, and they'll be like, hold on, let me Google. <laughs> I don't know Puerto Rico. I thought Puerto Rico was real, but I don't know. He said that shit with conviction. Let me Google this motherfucker. <laughs> But no, salute to everybody that has been subscribing and ranking us on uh, iTunes. And yeah, thank you for that. Listening to us on SoundCloud. And, you know, I-, I love to see people tweet the actual logo for the brilliant idiots yeah. and tell us how much they enjoy what it is that we do. Because I still haven't figured out what it is that we do. We're figuring it out. We're figuring it out every week. We're figuring it out. Now, uh, it's a guy, right? You know, I do the Breakfast Club every morning, mm-hmm. you know, uh, nationally syndicated morning show. And it's a guy every fucking morning show. Mm-hmm. Not just every morning. Every afternoon when I leave the radio station, mm-hmm. it's a guy that's standing outside. Four in the morning. First time he stood outside, I, I reached for my shit. Cause, you know, he, and he was like, no, I don't want to drop him. <laughs> he was like, oh. First of all, I can't wait. I can't wait till we let this guy talk because you just made him African. <laughs> like, like with that accent, everybody is listening to this, imagining that like checkered bag that they have. <laughs> I don't want to drop. I just want you to sell you umbrella and slave oil. <laughs> slave oil. Slave oil and umbrella. But this guy, I'm talking about every morning and like, I respect that kind of dedication. Okay. Even though it's very old school to still stand outside the radio station and try to get discovered. Oh, is, are you a rapper? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my bad. So, so we, uh, Say your name, bro. I mean, I mean. And where you from? South London. South London. He's here. On, you're here on a visa, right? Student visa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What school you go to? I the mean. MCC. I mean. No, I mean, I mean, E R. Ermain, Ermain, I see you America. How would we say it? Ermain. That sounds, Ermain. That, that sounds yeah. like some shit black people uh, want to wear but can't really afford. Ermain. Ermain. <laughs> Ermain. <laughs> you got that Ermain, you got though? That Ermain. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how you spell it? E R. E R. M A I N E. E R. Ermain. All right. And I how old are you? 18. 18 years old. So you come to the radio station every day. I get there like 5 30. What time yeah. do you get there? Like four thirty. Four thirty. Yeah, yeah. What gave you the idea to say I want to stand outside of Power One Hundred Five One in New York City? No, nah, because I, I used to look up to. You. I still look up to you guys, but I, I used to watch you guys every single day. Like it would be part of my routine. I come home from school, Power One Hundred Five. Right? Yeah, every day I'd be watching a new video. You'd be putting up content. So I was like, it's a no brainer. Like I thought most rappers would be doing this. I'd be the only one there. I'm like, it don't make sense. So I'm just like, you know what? Just gotta show, like, show the people that I respect that the dedication. You know. Then hopefully they respect it back. And you was doing that in South London, right? No, no, no. I went, like I've been rapping for like four years since like two thousand end of two thousand ten. Okay. But I was secretive with it in America. I mean, back in back home, because I'd rap in a, in an American accent. And if I come out like that, people are gonna be like, "What the? Don't really." So wait, you rap in an American accent? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Real quick. You like the male Iggy Azalea? Exactly. She's Australian, but she raps. That's why I remember I, I was watching the Billboard Awards. I was like, "What part of Australia they talk like they're from?" Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. 
You know what I mean? Like, where where is this coming from? Now, but I've seen people do this with reggae. You yeah, know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. There's that Hasidic Jewish dude, Modest Yahoo, who... Never heard of him. Get the fuck out of here. I have you never heard of Modest Yahoo. Oh, you heard of him? No, me? I ain't heard of him. Uh-uh. What was that song he had, Samir, that was real popular? There was a song he had. There was anyway. We're gonna we're gonna get it up. But <laughs> anyway, but I've seen this a few different. I mean, Snow, that Canadian one. I remember Snow. Snow. What fuck was he saying? Um, we need a hip rap genius for that shit. So so you start rapping in an English accent. Why? Or American accent? Why? The people I look up to, like that's the only way I know how to rap. I didn't really listen to that much like UK rap because it's like it's there's a boundary on in. In, if you're a rapper in London, uh-huh. the only place you can be known is in London. Like, you don't really... Like, you guys probably don't know, no, like, London, some, a rapper from London, you know? Not really. Tiny yes. Temple? Yeah, I know, but... That's not that's, London, is it? He's London, but he's, like... No, 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 he's from London. He's from okay. London. But that's one, though, like... And he, you, you only heard, like, one song, right? Yeah. So you don't really care for him. So it's, like... I figured out if I come and try and do it like this... Even though I'm doing it, this, like even though I sound like someone here, when you hear my story, you're gonna be like, "Oh shit, it doesn't," and then they're gonna pay more attention to London, you know. Well, what what exactly is your story? Because it just intrigues me that yeah, yeah, somebody yeah. it could be in school, but take the time to stand outside the radio station. Yeah, no, I'll be I'll be, be there before and after, and still go to school. Like I, it just intrigued me for some reason. No, I'll be I wake up, set my alarm. Sometimes I don't even go to sleep. Like you see, the, like two days ago, I didn't even go to sleep. Mm-hmm. Like just. Stayed up and then. So I'll what leave. do you do? You see him walk in and you go, "Hey." I should be like, "Yo, Charlemagne, what's up?" Try to give him new music. Most of the time, he hasn't listened, so I keep coming back every day, like just to remind him. What do you give him a CD? No, I give Envy a CD and you, but he, I email him. Yeah, because I told him I'm not listening to a CD. Yeah, yeah. I don't have no CD. I don't have no <laughs> CD <laughs> player. Play yeah, 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 yeah. Like, <laughs> gotta give him a download card yeah, or some yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> a CD. But I, I, I listened to a couple of his joints. I saw a video. Okay, he's actually pretty cool. I'm gonna let him spit before we leave. You know, I mean, um, but. Like I said, I was just intrigued by a story. I thought it was, I thought it was dope. Yeah, you yeah. know. But so, what is your story? Yeah, what is the story? I'm 18. I'm here alone. Like, just packed up all my bags. You know what? Like, trying to make this rap shit happen. You know. So. And you're going to school? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where like, do you go to school? BMCC. Okay. How but, how is race in London? Like, how is it for? Cause what are you? I don't know what your race is. What are you? I mean, people here think I'm Dominican or Spanish. Puerto Rican, yeah. Yeah, but I'm from Africa. Like, I'm from Morocco, North North Africa originally. Yeah. That's where I'm from. Uh, but I, I was born in London, South mm-hmm. London. But in what do you mean in race? Like, because I don't believe hip hop is a black thing anymore. So I'm wondering, like, in London, I'm sure hip hop is just a sensibility. Do y'all look at it as a black thing, a white thing? We love race here on the Brilliant Idiot. So we gotta, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. No, it's, it's just universal. Like, yeah. it don't have no color. Like, if you make it a point to be about color, then, like, your goals, is, so like, doesn't really make sense. Why would you say, why would you put a, put music in a box? Word. Anybody can relate to it. If you're saying words, I'm pretty sure whatever color you are, white, black, you could be Jewish, whatever, someone else is probably going through the same shit, you know? Uh-huh. So that's just how I feel about it in terms of that. What kind of pussy are you like? You like African pussy or you like... I don't that? really mind, you know. I don't really mind. I'll be liking these Dominican girls here, though. Yeah, now we, you Dominican, Yeah, huh? now you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm Dominican. I'm Dominican. <laughs> Dominican in London, but now they, pop, yeah. they feeling poppy over here. Exactly. Yeah, 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 yeah. You all in. <laughs> all about no, that's it. what's up. Okay, so that's what's up. All right, so you come here. Everybody thinks you're Puerto Rican now. Yeah, and, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what are you majoring? Uh, business. But, like, to be real with you, like, I just looked at college as a way to get here. Like, oh, you just wanted to get to America. I just wanted to be here. I knew, like, New York, like, that's an old school way of thinking, but it's, like, I look up to Cole. You know, you guys know? Yeah, you know, I figured J. Cole, Cole. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So he moved from North Carolina, Fayetteville, up here. That's where I'm from, South Carolina. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Which is so, not North Carolina, but it's all Yeah, right. it's yeah. the same thing. To him, it's the same thing. <laughs> that's a good, that's but a good yeah. American geography for you right there. That's yeah, how yeah. we do it. But, yeah, so I really look up, looked up to him, and then it just showed me, like, if he made it happen... Then you just believe in yourself. You can make something happen. And he know? doesn't even have good hair like you. Huh? Oh shit! Oh shit! Yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that true though, dude? <laughs> like, is, like, is it true that if you just believe in yourself, if you just believe? No, in no, no. Dream, you have to. There has happen. to be talent. Like, you can't. I can't just wake up one morning and be like. I think sometimes I'm talent, gonna be the best. I think sometimes talent is a curse. I think sometimes hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work. Look at all the untalented motherfuckers yeah, 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 yeah. And sometimes talent is bad because you get into hot chick syndrome. You know, yeah, which yeah. is these chicks are so hot that and they're given certain things because of their no, hotness Inst- that they don't develop. The not even Instagram. That's been since back in the day. 
You know what I mean? So it's like, if you're so talented, you see a lot of like NBA players. They're yeah, so yeah, fucking yeah, talented. Yeah, they could coast on talent their whole life. Then they get to the league, and there's people who are talented and work. And it's like, oh, they can't compete. Yeah. But when they were in high school, That's all the, these NBA players yeah, yeah, yeah. were the exact, just as good as each other. There has to be a balance, though. You think so? Dude, when they're in high school... I don't believe that. Besides LeBron, all these guys know each other. <laughs> Shaquille O'Neal, like, nah, yeah, because you got to think, they, in high school, they have the McDonald's All-Star All game, game, yeah. Where they get the best of the best. Yep. D- those guys are clearly better than everybody else. But my point is, those guys right there, when they get to the league, they're not All-Stars. But in that game, there are certain guys that are better than others. Yeah, of course. And then they stop working on their game. They take shit for granted. Sometimes talent is a curse. Explain you need why talent. Again. Talent, because if you have talent, shit comes naturally to you, and you don't put in the work. Yeah, okay, got you. But Absolutely. if you, if you, yeah, 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 the guy yeah. who doesn't have as much talent, yeah, is gonna work. Like Chris Rock, for example. Yeah, I, I heard the story about Chris Rock. It shit blew my mind. He filmed that special, the last one, where he was at all the different locations. Remember, one was at the Apollo, one was in London, one yeah, was yeah. in like South Africa. Okay. Right after he filmed at the Apollo, after his set, he leaves his own after party. To go to the comic strip, which is a comedy club here in New York City, okay, to work out some jokes because he's filming the next night. Shit, that that's what you got to do when you realize I need to work harder than these other motherfuckers because it might not be as natural to me. I realized that a long time ago because somebody told me hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work. Fuck. So if you already got the talent and then you put the work ethic in it, you'll you be unstoppable. You can't be stopped. You can't be stopped. But some people, when it's they're so talented, it comes so easily to them. At that mid level, it's so easy. Yeah. And then when they try to take it to the NBA, they try to take it to, you know, fucking syndicated radio show. They try to take it to that next level. Yeah. You know how those people sometimes don't pan out? Yeah. They were fine in small markets, take them to big markets mm-hmm. and all. That's where that work needs Absolutely. to kick in. Absolutely. That's why beauty and brains is such a rare combination. Because you got so many <laughs> girls who have been going off of their looks for years. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah, yeah that yeah, when yeah. they actually have to do something other than rely on their looks, they're fucking done out here. And you know what? Do we blame them? No. It's like we need that's why our game is always so much better than girls' game, because we need to trick you into fucking us. Absolutely. You don't need a game me like no girl has ever I never wasn't gonna fuck her and then she said some nice things about my outfit and I was like, you know what, I might give yeah, you some dick. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's <laughs> why I tell all bad chicks, yeah. trap a nigga early. <laughs> like get, like get a nigga. No, no, get, a, get, get, get trap a nigga. Yeah, trap a nigga early. Get him in your, get him While in your, your values. High. Yes, get him in your early years. Don't hold off till you thirty because you don't know which way your looks going to go. Oh, we all know which way they're going to go. What if you're one of those girls who doesn't work out on the regular, hasn't oh. been taking care of themselves? You never know. It's you might horrible. get thirty and washed. You might be thirty and look like Rob Kardashian. Exactly. <laughs> so when you're nineteen, twenty years old. Get Samir, pregnant. By the way, Samir, our engineer, looks like Rob when he was at his best. Yes, he does. Samir, look into the camera real quick so we can post all of it. That's, that's, Rob, Rob that's a look. good... Now Kardashian, Now Rob is the curviest Kardashian. Hold on. I don't want to get to Rob yet. <laughs> all right, my bad. Yeah, yeah. Ermain, Ermain, now you yeah, said yeah. something that said... You said Instagram fucked the game up. What do you mean by that? Because you're only 18, so what fucking no, game do you know? No, I fucked the game up. I don't even have it, but out of Instagram, fuck the game what up. What game? Like, it's trying to holler at girls. Like, Why? Girls ain't fucking with you. If you just regular, like, you, girls are not fucking with you. Oh, you mean del- gr- girls are stalking your Instagram. They can see what you're doing. They can see you ain't shit. Not even... <laughs> Devo- Duval <laughs> tweeted... <laughs> no, Duval tweeted some shit. He was like, don't just like these girls' pictures because it just gassed them up. Hold on, let me tell you something. Don't follow... Don't listen to anything says. fucking Duval okay. says. Duval hates women. Yeah. <laughs> dude, dude, whatever Duval says, you do the do opposite, the opposite shit. Because yeah. Duval says some shit like, I should swing on a bitch. <laughs> Like, not, you know what I mean? Like, and then he has people like, yo, no, that's rude, Duval's that's kind rude. of make a point. You got Why shouldn't you? I just me and Duval had this argument. Why shouldn't you like girls? Because if you think a girl, that's like no, that's, no, I'm not. I'm not saying, but I, I agree with the concept what he's trying to say. Like, here's the thing. So that's like saying don't compliment a girl when you're around her. No, no, no. But he like here's the thing. You don't think those girls walk outside and get just as many looks? A double take no, they do, in they life do. is the same thing as a like, a on, like Instagram. on Instagram. So Absolutely. they get in all this shit. So if anything, maybe they don't leave the house as much if they really need it that bad. But yeah, yeah, these yeah, girls true. that are bad know they're bad. No girl yeah, yeah, yeah. wasn't bad and then got on Instagram. She's like, I'm a bad bitch. Yeah, she's on Instagram because she thinks she's a bad. Exactly. Bitch. So that's what I'm that's saying. The it point. gives the yeah. platform. But to what think I'm saying, you're bad but what I'm saying, like, the reason she's on Instagram posting is because she already thinks that yeah, she's yeah, yeah, bad. Yeah, so, if she yeah. didn't think she's bad, she's not gonna test the waters. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, a like is the new cat call. You know what a cat call is, right? No, no, no. Yeah, you're only 18. The cat calls when girls used to walk down the street. You'd be like, Yo, hey, what's up, ma? You got a fat ass, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. ma? <laughs> <laughs> that was, no, that's that the was. 80s way of doing it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> 
What's up, man? <laughs> now let's let's hear you spit some bars, man. All right, what you want to hear? Whatever. What you this is your whatever this, you feel, this is your man. Platform. Let's go. Right, let's I'm gonna see. give you two minutes to spit some bars, right, and then we got somebody else about to come up here. Right. Yeah. Imagine growing up in a place where your nigga caught a case and now he's fucked. Got a daughter on the way. What's there left to do? Now he's looking at you like I messed up now, dog. I won't pull through. And it's granny crying on the phone because you feeling so stranded. You can't help your nigga. You can't help your nigga. 12 years of friendship and now he's labeled a killer by the government, the system, the prisons up in this bitch. I remember when you told me that this dream gonna make us rich and I'm trying to make it happen for real. With this rapping, I'll kill. That's a metaphor, my nigga. You was clapping a steel. Caught up in that life. Said you need to leave it. Either end up dead or jail. Guess you now believe it. If we grow up in this hell, will we make it to heaven? Mask every Friday while you strapped with a weapon. It's a little verse. Ermain. All right, Ermain. Live from South London. There it is. I like this guy, man. This guy has talent. And he's, I think he's got the work ethic to match. Oh, Only you definitely got the work ethic. Right. I mean, damn. every day at the radio station. And I listen, yeah. I just want y'all to know something. Please don't, uh, nobody else try this at home. <laughs> okay, our main is the first. There will not be another. I don't want you motherfuckers to start standing outside the radio station at four in the morning because I'm paranoid. You see niggas try to jump me outside yeah, the radio yeah, station. Yeah. <laughs> I don't like that type of shit. But it's just, he did it. And I noticed it, and I bought him on the Brilliant Idiots podcast. You really so, just set the precedent to for a lot of people going to be at the radio. Nope, man. I'm going to have Wax set the precedent to <laughs> yeah. knock a couple of these <laughs> Don't be playing out. Wax Don't is going to rape wax. you, everybody that listens. All right? <laughs> wax does not discriminate on gender, okay? <laughs> wax rapes. He is an equal opportunity rapist. He will rape men and women. That's how it works. Give him your info, Ermin, real quick. Yeah, Wait hit me up. Uh, Ermin Music, Twitter, SoundCloud, E-R-M-A-I-N-E, Music. Uh, yeah, hit me up, Twitter, SoundCloud, everything, YouTube, everything. Keep All us right. posted on what you're doing, man. Most definitely, most definitely. I'm trying right. to shoot a video soon. All right, cool. You got one, though. No, I'm trying to shoot another one. Okay. Yeah. I introduced him to Steve Rifkin yesterday. Steve Rifkin yeah, got yeah. this thing going on called AD52. Yeah, yeah, I signed up to that shit yesterday. Yeah. Yeah. yeah What's yeah. that? It's like he's giving uh, guys like him a chance to post their videos and, you know. Oh, a just, platform. A platform, yeah, yeah, yeah. basically. All right, now we're going to ask them, do some asking idiot questions. You can chill right. out, uh, yeah, yeah. Ermain, right. until this person comes, <laughs> if she comes. She's a Puerto Rican woman, so of course she's late. But, <laughs> all right, now this is a good one. So, a, Rella, black, a black person just made a late joke about another race. I I'm always wanna, on time, okay? <laughs> I just, I just, you were late today. That is very true, but <laughs> that is very rare that I am late, okay? No, you are pretty on time. And I'm but, not late because I'm black. I'm late just because... I was just, let me say this. You, you are on time, but you do brag about being on time. Much like black dudes brag about shit that they're supposed to do in the Chris Rock joke. Listen, I brag about everything that I do better than other black people. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. I like how black people are your litmus test. They are not- my, lit- my my race is my litmus test. As long as I'm better than everybody in my race, I'm, That's all that matters. I'm fine. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I just want to stay ahead of that curve, the black curve. All right. All now, right, Sorella Budella, her Twitter is at Fat Belly Perla. She wants to know, how long should I know a man before I can come in his mouth? Wait, the, the girl said this? Yeah, this is a girl. Okay, well, I just want to tell you, Sorella, that if a man can make you come, come in his mouth. If a man's down there and he's eating you out and you feel like you're about to squirt and bust off, do it. Because I was sitting down with Dr. Oz the other day and he told me that uh, a third of women have never achieved orgasm. So if you can come, boo, bust off. Yeah, I just don't think, like, is she talking about squirting? I mean, she said just come in his mouth. Like, I'm assuming she's an uh, a external uh, orgasmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So she squirts. All right, yeah, if you could come, fucking come. Because here's the thing. We like we like when you come because that's proof. Yes, that you know I'm doing I mean? my job. Exactly. Like, as a dude, we just got to take your word for it. When you or- you literally orgasm, you go, I came. And then we go, I guess, I guess you came. Yeah. You know, when we come, you see it. There's fucking yeah. shit you got to clean up. So that's why you <laughs> know that we liked you. Word. But when you come, you literally just... Huh, you and that, fake that. You know what I'm saying? I don't know that you faked it or not, but if you bust in my mouth after I spit it out or swallow whatever I feel, how however comfortable I feel with yeah, you, yeah, yeah. at least I know I made you come. Like, you can't say I didn't fake it. You can fake a squirt, too, if you're a girl. Get the fuck out of here. I'm going to tell you how you can fake a squirt, because squirting ain't nothing but peeing. That, so a girl see, nah, can nah, piss nah, on nah, you. Nah, 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 I don't believe you that. Be, a, a girl can piss on you at while you down there looking at clit, and you wouldn't have the slightest clue. I would definitely have a slightest clue because the difference between pissing and actually orgasm. Orgasm shoot out like a water gun, like tss. okay. Pee just like kind of falls out. Yeah, of women girl. got no pee control. Nah, none it, whatsoever. It literally it looks so crazy. It looks there's no direction. There's no because all they do is sit down. 
It's not like yeah. they have a, a device like we have that like we to have actually to actually aim. aim it. Yeah, absolutely. But it's so crazy. It just it literally looks like you know when somebody throws up how it just kind of comes out from all the angles or whatever like that. Yeah. That's kind of what it looks like. It's just like it's like urine throw up. It's like bile. Your pussy vomited. Your, your pussy vomited. I love when I got a girl on the counter and I'm looking her clit and she squirts on me and it hits me in the chest. That same counter that you feed your kid breakfast every morning. I mean, yes. You're gonna have to clean the counter anyway. So what's a little cum? <laughs> what's a little cum next to my daughter's bag? Daddy, why is the counter sticky? What's a little? My spoon won't that, stick, come off cre- the counter. That's cream cheese for your bagel, baby. <laughs> That's your brother. 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 I didn't know I had a brother. You did. You just ate him. Yeah. Okay, now, uh, at Danny and Como says, why at Seated God you be on Jay-Z's dick so hard? I saw that one. I love you, dog, but Lord, oh, Lord, you dick ride him so much. Okay. Oh, I got a good one after this. I'm going to keep on. this very quick and brief. Right. Why are you on Jay's dick? Okay. okay. Yeah, go. We live in an era that if you are a fan of someone mm-hmm. and you show someone love rider. and respect yeah. you're a dick rider if you don't like someone you're a hater yep. there's no gray area nowadays polarity there is none mm-hmm. I can't like Jay Z I'm a huge fan of Jay Z mm-hmm. okay I can recite all his music mm-hmm. I respect his business the guy has sex with Beyonce okay <laughs> I love him to death I still wear rock away. he's dope to me yeah what else you want me to say is that dick riding what I want to know is what is the argument for not liking Jay Z what is the argument for? What is there not to like about Jay? That that I, that's what would be more intriguing to me. If there was a Jay Z uh, disliker, because I won't call him a hater, but if you just didn't like Jay Z, what do you not like? This guy's successful, yeah. right? Many different business endeavors. He has sex with Beyonce, yes, obviously, and the motherfucker doesn't fuck up even when he's getting swung on. He don't fuck up. He didn't fuck up. B- better defense than Mayweather. Didn't make a he mistake. Did, my Donna, my. Don- <laughs> if he had if, hey, listen, Mayweather had that fucking defense against Madonna, he would have been good. That fight is short. He didn't make a mistake. He hasn't mm-hmm. made a mistake yet. And he's got so much longevity. Yeah. And he's, he's a, and he's an anomaly in hip hop because he's forty four years old and he's still at the top of his game. We haven't seen that in hip hop ever. You know why? And I think we've spoken about this before. Hip hop is a reflection of lifestyle. Mm. And nobody can fuck with Jay's lifestyle. Nobody can fuck with Talk Jay's lifestyle. Talk all you want about the chains you got. You don't have a Picasso in your bathroom. You don't have a Picasso in your goddamn bathroom. And we know Jay got it. You don't got the hottest chick in the game wearing, wearing your chain. Your cha- like, and so it's like, if if you're going to talk about your life, if I want to hear someone ball out, I'm not listening to Kendrick because yeah. I know Kendrick can't fuck with Jay. Yeah. If, if it's lifestyle that we're talking about. And he's too young to fuck with Jay. You know how they say your arms are too short to box with God? That's exactly. too young. He you got listen, the raptor and, arms. And guess what? Nobody will ever accomplish what Jay-Z has accomplished. Nobody will ever be better than Jay. The same way nobody will ever be better than Jordan. And I always say this. You can't chase ghosts, dog. How can you chase what already is? We can look at Jay's resume and everybody else's pales in comparison. Okay, agreed. But I hate that statement, no one will ever. Because inevitably someone is going to be better. No, somebody's going to be just as good. But you, how can you ever be better? How can LeBron ever be better than Michael Jordan? He can't. He can't. Yeah, he can. It's impossible. No, he can't. You know why? I'm going to tell you why it's impossible. Even if his stats, put it like this. Mm-hmm. Tony, I'm a Dallas Cowboy fanatic. Okay. Tony Romo statistically it's is the best quarterback. quarterback ever. No, not ever, but he's like. I mean, for the Cowboys. Of, of, of the Cowboys, so yeah. Best Dallas Cowboy quarterback ever. But he pales in comparison to Troy Aikman. Yeah, because of the rings. The rings. Troy Aikman's been so. So let's say rings. LeBron. Realistically, let's say LeBron wins eight rings in his career. Okay. If if he wins eight rings in his career, like just off of the rings, you got to say he's better than Jordan. Absolutely not. And I'm gonna tell you why. Okay, go. Jordan won six to the NBA Finals six times and won six rings. Never lost ever. Fair. Same team. LeBron James has been to the NBA Finals before, so his NBA Finals record is mm-hmm. not undefeated. He's lost mm-hmm. in the finals what? Sure. Twice. Sure. He's lost in the finals twice. So that right, that stat alone. Is impossible to touch. So here's the thing. If we're just going off of finals victories, mm-hmm. Bill Russell's the best player to ever play the game. No, 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 no. Flawless finals victories. Fair, fair. But what I'm saying Michael is- Michael never even been to a game seven in the NBA finals. Meaning that it, it, it's never even Agreed. been close. Okay, okay, okay. Which I, I respect. But I just feel that if you're judging people on- if you got to choose the criteria that we're judging on. If we're judging on rings and mm-hmm. someone surpasses another person in rings, you got to give, give it up to them. I don't like judging on rings because there are people like Robert Ory, who is a bum, who hit some very important shots, but he's a bum. He's not even in the conversation. It's, but, not, it's not even about But rings. he got crazy rings. That's all yeah. I'm saying. So you can't bring him into the- Steve Kerr, who was a good shooter, but- Nobody gives a shit. Exactly. So it's not about rings. Do I think I I've, I've never seen anybody that could play like Jordan. I think I think I don't think LeBron can be better than Jordan because he's had 
mental mishaps. Mental mishaps. He had times where he wasn't in the game. I can't remember a time where in an important game, Michael Jordan didn't play at the best of his ability. Absolutely. The flu. Multiple flus. I bought, I bought some flu games today, man. I saw that. Those comments were hilarious. What are the these, game. orange? Yeah, acting like you my got shit the is orange. Fake. The fucking lighting, dog. Okay? <laughs> the flu games are sick. They, don't even, they haven't even put those back out. They were talking about that. Yo, he got the suede ones. They're not the leather. Dude, Instagram comments are the funniest yeah, shit. Yeah, and you ain't got shit, okay? But <laughs> but you're right, though. But I, I just think that you can't you can't chase gold. But I, I understand what you're saying is, is you can't be better than somebody who was great in their era because that was their greatness. Absolutely. And you're comparing another thing. You could be in the discussion. You can be in the No, you can create your own lane. Exactly. Create your own That's lane. That's it. And now you're in the discussion. And now we have to say, if he, if, hey, if Braun wins eight rings, you have to at least hear someone out. If He's he says, one of the best ever. Exactly. You got to hear him out. He's Bill one of Russell. The best if somebody said to you, an old man said, I think Bill Russell was the best ever played, you never saw Bill Russell play. I wouldn't play. even argue him because I've never seen Russell play. That's all I'm saying. But so I, the, I could say, if, you, if a man got 16 rings, he must have did something right. Absolutely. Okay, now let's finish. Let's stop dick riding. All right. You got a question? Yeah, yeah. We've dick rided enough. All right, yeah, I got to go. No one. more dick ride, but I, I will um, always dick ride Hove. Okay. Okay, this uh, Love Power is uh, at Mike DZ100 asks, What do y'all think about dudes that wife up a pregnant chick? Dudes that wife up a pregnant chick. And I'm assuming he's asking a chick that's pregnant and it's not their kid. That's like, to me, going on Carfax, seeing a car that has 150,000 miles, has been used twice. Used twice. Like, it was it was brand new for somebody, then somebody bought it as a used vehicle, sold then it bought, again. sold it again, and now you got it. I don't want that, dog. I, I, I can't, I don't want no pregnant pussy. Like, if it ain't mine, like, I just think that's the ultimate disrespect. The fuck a pregnant girl, and the girl's not yours? My buddy used to do that, and he used to say, I got an arm and a leg in that kid. <laughs> that is the that is the one. Siddiqui's brother used to fuck this chick. I got an arm and a leg in that kid, and I was like, "Oh, that is just nothing." You know why that's the just worst? Letting that baby marinate in your cum. You know why that's the worst? Cause, Fucking nine months. Because even now, right? Like I'm 33, <laughs> and it's kids who harass me on Twitter, mm -hmm. and they be like 16, 17, and I be looking, and I'm like. Yo, this is such and such his son. This is such and oh, such his daughter. Them. Yes. So I'll be like, yo, you know I fucked your mom? Like, <laughs> like, they, like, they, like, like, like they be sending me tweets. They'll send me tweets like, yo, my mom said she went to school with you. And I'll be like, I used to fuck your mom. So imagine that. They shit on you? Or you're just offering Like some of them talk shit. And I'll be, I'll be like, I, I tweeted this one day. I was like, you know how hard it is for me not to say I fucked your mom, dog? Like, I really want to tell you that I fucked you your mom. everyone in Monk's Quarter, South Carolina, that is 17 years old is freaked out right now that you fucked their mother. Listen, so imagine fucking a girl that's pregnant. Mm -hmm. Then this kid comes out, gets older, and you're looking at him like, I used to fuck your mom when you was inside her. Oh. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh. That'd be funny if you were like, yo, you know those dimples you got in your cheeks? That was me. <laughs> that was my dick in your face. I put face. them dimples right there, bro. All yeah. right. You got one? Okay, yeah. Uh, Philly Goins says, hashtag asking idiot, how do you feel about Miami constantly trying to shut down Bieber Memorial Day weekend every damn year on South Beach? He said Bieber because I've been uh, trying not to say the N-word. Yeah. I've been trying not to say the word nigga, so I say the word Bieber in his place. But listen, I have no problem with people trying to shut down functions where black people attend, especially a bunch of niggas because they cause a whole bunch of trouble. So it's not, it's not, don't don't just randomly act like they're trying to shut down Memorial Day weekend just because. They shut it down because niggas go there and they shoot each other mm -hmm. and freaking they fight and they do a whole bunch of bullshit. Okay, my wife just walked in. Hi. Oh, shit. Hi, husband of mine. Hey, Tahiri. What's going on? Y'all give a round of applause to Tahiri. Tahiri, you ever met Andrew Schultz? I just did right you now. Just he's right a, a, a semi-famous comedian. Awesome. Um, I'm getting there. He's got a show on MTV, too, called Jobs That Don't Suck. Mm -hmm. Jobs it's, That Don't What? Suck. Really? I yeah. can't wait to watch. No, check it. It's not Wednesdays. about dick sucking, either. No. Oh, well, what I can't wait to watch. Jobs That Don't Suck. I'm interested to know. I might need a job one day. There you go. I'll get a job that don't suck. What the hell you need a job for all this money I'm you're making saying, out here in these streets? You, you already know I'm, I'm into getting my hustle on all the time. True. So you're making up? a lot of money off the calendars? Calendars, hosting, uh, jewelry line coming out, nail polish, uh, show, 
the works. Are you you gonna you'll probably be down in Miami for Memorial Weekend? I right? will not be in Miami for Memorial Day weekend. Why not? I'm sure you people was requesting you. <clears throat> I'm sure. Um, I don't know exactly where I'm booked, but I know it's not Miami. Uh, okay. I used to do Miami for years. It's just way too ratchet for me. So Anywhere you- where people can drive. Never mind. What do you mean? If you can drive, if you can get there in a car, like just the, the Ratchet Central. So where do you go? Vegas. Uh, wherever I'm booked. So if Miami would have booked me, I would have been there. But if I'm not, you know, I, I just wouldn't go to Miami. Vegas, DR, PR, Trinidad, uh, Europe, somewhere else. Oh, you're getting out of the country for yeah, more. Yeah, getting this bread, show. <laughs> Look, I don't know, man. I, I don't uh, know about these things. I have to check my calendar. I know it's not Miami, though. What so, Now, is your calendar one of your calendars? It's my calendar. Meaning, like, do you write your events on oh, thing no. where Oh, no. I have that on my website, tahirionline.com but it's okay. pictures of me Plug and it's a calendar it. for everybody else. Yeah, she Plug was fun. <laughs> so Intimacy 2014 is a calendar with, uh, just a regular calendar with pictures of Tahiri, 12 months of me. Uh, but who cares about dates when you have me on a calendar? That's what's That's up. Very cool. <laughs> Look at that. She's ready, dude. I have it in my studio. Media training right I have here. it in my studio hanging up and they have to tell me to change the month. Now, does it come with lotion? Uh, you should team up with like a, <laughs> like a, a Lubriderm <laughs> or Jergens. Yes, dude, get the Tahiri lube. Tahiri Jergens lube with the, with the calendar and a, a like a little garbage pail. That would be amazing. You, you could honestly be like a business mogul. <laughs> Tahiri garbage pails. Right? People usually ask me, like, do you mind? Do you, I mean, you know what's going to happen when these guys get these calendars? I'm like, of course not. Yeah, how, I mean, yeah. that's got to be like an ego boost to know that guys jack off to you on the regular. I've uh, jacked off to your calendar. Thank you, Charlotte. That's, that's a good, honestly, I'll be honest, I haven't, but I feel like I should now that everybody's jerking off to this fucking calendar. <laughs> Um, it's it's pretty awesome. I mean, everybody has to release, let go. Why not? Do Question. women masturbate the guys? Uh, well, I don't know. I, I we already You're discussed a woman. this. Nah. I mean, I don't mess. Well, I've to thoughts maybe if he's not there. You masturbate there, to like his house. <laughs> like, yo, yeah. Two stories in that shit. Oh god! A salary. <laughs> a garage. Holy shit! I could move my grandma in. I did not. <laughs> so, what, so you never looked at a guy's picture and like played with yourself? No, no. But I have, I have masturbated to a, a thought of the guy that I was into at the moment. Just and what thinking was he about doing? Just replaying what happened, maybe you know, days before. What happened? Mind your business. <laughs> what? This show is about not minding our business. Wild, That's what this is. Passionate sex happens. Oh, passionate sex. Yeah. So, All right, um, cool. so, yeah, vaginal? so maybe so. Vaginal and sex. Oral. But anyway, and we oral. Oh, Charlotte, I'm gonna get me in okay. okay. trouble. But um, no. Seriously though, um. Uh, yeah, you, you mess with it to thoughts, not pictures. I don't think we get the same. I, you would have to ask around. It's not yeah. the same for a man as it is for a woman to masturbate to a picture. Now, did you see Rob Kardashian's pictures? Speaking of pictures, no. Yeah. Did you see how fat he got? Um, I actually yesterday I was getting my hair done and it, TMZ was on and mm-hmm. he was. I just thought it was a before like clip or something. I can't believe he's still. It has fact. to be some kind of depression. He has to be going through something. No, nah, he's playing uh, Missy in the new uh, Durain video that they're remaking. <laughs> depression is not an excuse <laughs> to be fat. I mean, no, there is no excuses. You know, I'm in the gym all day, every day. Absolutely. I have no, and I can't stand walking in somewhere and seeing someone, you know, order three number fives, and I'm like, it's not cute. Like, it's it's unhealthy. Absolutely. Um, but I've I can't believe these guys got to be some something is wrong. See, that's the thing with fat people, okay? The okay. thing with fat people, like, you see Charles Barkley, he's under fire right now because it's actually a fat organization. It's like the National Association for the Advancement of Fat People or some shit like oh that. Oh, my God. They're mad at Charles Barkley because he made the comment that there's some big old girls in San Antonio and that Jenny Craig could really come up down there or Weight Watchers could come up down there. What's what's the problem with that? There is no problem with that because no, San Antonio is the number seven city in the America for obesity. My thing with fat people is if it's not medical or you suffer from, like, body dysmorphia, <sighs> then you're making a conscious decision to be to fat. Eat. Like how you said, yeah. you see people ordering three number fives. Right. right. You don't have to do that kind of shit. All right. First of all, let's address this one thing. Okay. Which is people cannot stop with this offended shit. We've already discussed it multiple times on the yes. show, but all that is, he's making a statement. There's some fat people in San Antonio. What is Jenny Craig in the business of? Making fat people not fat. Absolutely. Where should Jenny Craig go? Where, Where fat they're fat. Right. Why is that offensive? Absolutely. I what, I, and also, the Pride Fat Movie, movie, movement, 
I think we've talked about this There's before. No such also, thing as being proud and fat. Y'all you're gonna, gonna the fuck you're off. gonna die. Yeah, being you're proud gonna be and proud fat. and dead. You're gonna be proud and fucking. And dead. you know you don't have enough friends that can carry that casket. You know what I'm saying? You know how many <laughs> ball bears you need when you're fat. <laughs> <laughs> and most fat people are lonely as fuck. Laugh, and listen, and fat people like, are lazy. They can't carry a, no I am casket. In a, in a in a really awkward situation because if I say some things, you know what I'm saying? It'll be it'll, it, exactly people get offended. But the actuality is, is that I get up every day to work out and I watch what I eat because you have to. Like I'm I'm trying to stay healthy. I'm trying. I'm trying to stay young. I'm trying to stay strong. And if I say something off the rocker about, you know, people that don't take their time to take care of themselves, all of a sudden Tahiri's wrong for saying that. But you said But I agree. Thing, like, people need to take care of themselves. It's, but you said because it's unhealthy. It's yeah, not it's unhealthy. It's not because, you know, what you embrace whatever you look like. I, I, it's unhealthy. Tahiri, you know what it is? You can't say the right thing all the time. Right. Because when you say the right thing all the time, <laughs> You're full there's, of shit. Yeah. Not only are you full of shit, there's an expectation to say the right thing all right, the time. Right. So when you do something ever so slightly it's wrong, so crazy. that's when they bug out. It's so crazy, but no, I don't. I, I look at some people sometimes and I'm just like, what's the point of getting a Diet Coke when you just ordered three number fives? Like, And you're like 300 pounds. Like, How often are you in fast food restaurants judging uh, well, people? I, I mean, I, I watch. I, people watch all day. You know, I, I, I'm on at airports every week. And right, right. I've seen a girl on the laptop waiting for her flight with a big can of chocolate muffin something and she's big and I'm like you're killing yourself but of course you can't you know what's the biggest you ever been because you're Puerto Rican biggest so you I've ever two cars been 150 pounds that's and that's big. probably now I mean because I've I got no clue how much women weigh I swear 150 I no but I, I mean I lift weights and stuff so it's just you know hold up hold up muscle. are you is it real Absolutely, hundred. It's hundred percent real. real. Yeah. My baby's ass is real, dog. Tell Listen, baby. I know that you're the type of dude that would buy a girl ass if she needed some. <laughs> you provide, yo. You protect and you provide. That's a man's provider. job. That's why I love him. If she needs some ass, you hey, will provide no, that no. shit. That's um, a man's provide job. Provide some cheek. No, if it was if it was fake, although a lot of people question it, because now it's like buying a pair of shoes. Like, where did you get it? I'm ass. like, where did I get what? My shoes are like your ass. Um, Does that offend you? Uh, I, now it does because okay. I work hard and women are built like me. What do you do to get an ass? Uh, when you say you work hard, I work hard to keep my ass in shape. I, I lunges, squats, deadlifts. Lunges, squats, and deadlifts. Yes, and uh, you know I, I run. But I, you always had an ass. Yeah, I've always had an ass. Your little sister got ass too. We all have ass at yeah. home. Really? So yeah. So I get What's your little, now. little sister's Instagram? <laughs> <laughs> She, got, she on Facebook? Hey, what's her Facebook, bro? She posts pictures or she's private? She's stingy? <laughs> what do you think the, um, what do you think the, what's the word I'm looking for? What The, the fascination with asses. And not just the fascination of men when we see them, but of all the girls that want to get them now. I, you know what? I, I can tell you. I remember when J Lo came out with that dress, and all of a sudden asses were in the green me, dress. At the yeah, MTV the green. Awards? Yeah, back in the that. day. Real yeah. quick, and I and I tweeted this the other day. If J Lo came out now, we wouldn't even comment on the size of her ass. Yeah, that's how big well, asses let me tell have you, got. And 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 it's to regular. me, I come from I come from Harlem to where I come from. It's not a big deal. Like, well, Where'd I've always been a big deal. But uh, a Philip Randolph. You went to Randolph? Yes. Oh, shit, okay. Uh, and a um, we're, no. we're, the, oh. it's a great school. <laughs> it, well, back then it was. I don't know about now. It it's was, not a great school. It was a great oh, no, school. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I went to school here. I went to school. What school did you go to? I went to Brew College Campus High School. Whatever. Exactly. Whatever that is. Exactly. exactly. Randolph. <laughs> Randolph. Randolph. Great. Anyway. Okay, who um, are the accomplished graduates of Randolph? Tahiri. Tahiri. Shout out to me. Hey, come on. You're wrong. You writing for the time? Oh, I can't. I'm done. <laughs> but um, I don't know what the fascination as is everywhere where I come from, and uh, Latinas and curvy and black women. We were all beautiful and shapely. J Lo comes out with this dress; it's in all of a sudden. Um, was it, there ever a time when you were ashamed of your? Never. Curves? I was a little girl out walking down the block in a pair of tight Levi's. Wow. T- tight parasuit goes a tight lycra dress. Let's 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 be honest though. J Lo really just made ass popular for white people. I I mean I, that's what I'm saying. It's not like black people before J Lo were like these fat asses. We got to do something. J Lo and Beyonce. B never had J-Lo. that big of a fat. Beyonce had a nice ass. Yeah, she, she had does. a nice ass, but it wasn't like J Lo. J Lo had the type of ass where you didn't know you liked ass until you saw it. Yeah. Like I remember seeing her on this MTV special where she was in like ski pants. It was way back in the day, mm-hmm. and it was just they were just like yoga pants, and I saw it, and I was mm. like, "What the?" F-? And then I remember hating Ben Affleck for like a minute. <laughs> like there was a minute where I was like, "You know, I'm not seeing no fucking Ben Affleck movies. Fuck this dude." Do you think Ben Affleck and Diddy like they look at J Lo now like accepting the Icon Award at the Billboard Awards and be like, "Fuck, I fucked up." No, I think they go, "I got that." 
I got, you can't I just got say that you, in you her know what role. I thought Absolutely when I saw it? I was can. like, yes, bitch, work. What do you mean? Because she got it. And I'm sure Diddy sitting there like, yeah, you know, if it wasn't for me, everybody's like, and she's looking at them like, <laughs> I got it, though. I'm that bitch. Yeah. Mark yeah. Anthony's the only one that won to me because he got her pregnant. But how did he win? Mark Anthony is the only proof that somebody's had unprotected sex with J-Lo. <laughs> like, we don't know if Ben Affleck wow, and Diddy had unprotected so sex true. with J-Lo. And maybe she never let any of them hit it from the back. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Honestly, we don't, don't know, know for a fact. Uh, no, a it, woman with an ass. But, the first thing we oh, do is, yeah, oh, you throw it back done. there. Yeah, done, done. Oh, wait, that makes wait hold on, hold on. This is <laughs> this is a point. real thing. Gotcha. This, this is how much we protect a woman that we desire. That me and Charlamagne in our heads have created a world where nobody fucked J Lo. Wow. You know what I mean? Like, we're amazing. like, nah, I don't think any of them really hit it. She probably just blew them or some <laughs> shit. That, that, that ass is is still in perfect shape. Oh, so girls let you hit it from the back because that's when they're ready to be done. Uh well you know I know for a fact that no dude can if I, it. no if 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 I want to finish you off like once I see that ass it's over it's over just, oh, just, dude. just the that's curves in itself just the curves in itself like, that, once that, you see it yeah it's over actually it's matter of fact if a girl bends over <laughs> if a girl bends over and I come fast I don't even feel guilty. I go, you knew what you were getting into. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You knew exactly what the fuck was going to happen. Two minutes of pain. Two minutes? Okay, two seconds. Who the fuck is <laughs> <laughs> Two minutes. That's why, you know what, man? That's two why, minutes. That's why male enhancement know, pills are great. I think we women know. We Male who? Male enhancement pills. You and these male enhancement pills. No, because there's certain girls that put pressure on you. Like, if I'm about to fuck a J-Lo, mm -hmm. I'm about to fuck a Tahiri. Mm -hmm. I need something to help me go that extra That's mile. just, come on now, Charlotte. I mean, you're supposed to walk in there with that mentality that you're about to tear it up. Up. So what happens no. if a guy doesn't bust quick when he's hitting it from the back? What do you start thinking? I don't know. I'm in I'll, trouble now. I, I don't think <laughs> what it's, <are> you <laughs> it's never happened. That was my go-to. <laughs> that is my go-to. That was my finishing move. It, it, that was <laughs> like when Kevin Durant can't hit the three. He's like, all right, all right, Russell, you got to come in and help me out. That was my figure four leg no, lock. I, what am I doing now? I mean, I think that, you know, just intimacy period, like when you start having sex with somebody, you know them, you know when you can finish them off. But the go-to is turning around and, you know. No, the go-to when you got to ask. That ain't Molly Cyrus's <laughs> go-to. Yeah. Molly Cyrus' go-to got to be hey, because she ain't true. got no ass. I can't deal. Is J-Lo like an inspiration of yours? Absolutely. I love, 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 love. I was crying with her the other day when she got the award. Strictly I was like, oh. because of the culture thing, though, because she's Puerto uh, Rican too, right? No, just, just the woman, the woman empowerment, the fact that she's, you know, created her brand, the fact that she's iconic, the fact that she's done so much, right. you know, coming from the Bronx. That's in itself is very inspirational. You know she's an anomaly, too. Why is that? Like how I say Jay Z's an anomaly in hip hop for him sing, to be forty four. She, she yeah, she's she's uh, yeah, no she's, for her to be that age and, and Puerto Rican amazing. and haven't fell off yet and has two kids because <laughs> Puerto Rican women expire fast now. Absolutely, <laughs> they do. No, seriously. <laughs> like Terry, you too. You're you're kind of an anomaly too. You are an anomaly by twenty five. Most beautiful Puerto Rican girls fall off. Yeah. They See, I've been like hearing milk. that since I was like 18. Like, oh, that ass. Watch when she has kids. Oh, that ass. Watch yes. when she's 21. Oh, that yeah. ass. Watch when she's 25. And now I'm, st I'm still waiting to see who's going to carry that trophy. You have kids? No. And you That's work out. No, and she, but she don't have kids. It's something so about the watch kids. Watch me. Let me tell you something. The same thing okay. they said back then, and ten years later, I'm when, still watch on top. when you have some kids. You're gonna see. You're gonna. It's gonna I, turn into a me, big it's sweet 2000, potato. About <laughs> 2015, J Lo did it. Do you but, still eat two carbs with every meal? Rice and beans. Uh, no. See that too. You got to no. change that. I, I look back and I'm like, was my mom trying to kill me? <laughs> I'm like, what did, why did you feed me this so early? Yeah. Fried everything. Yeah, but that's why you got the ass. If you uh, didn't have that kind of shit, we're just that's my family. It's in the genes. Yeah, it's in the genes. Nah, Literally, but if you don't eat, you're not gonna get any ass. It depends what you eat. I mean, if you go to Africa where they're starving and shit, they don't got a big old fat fucking ass and then a skinny ass body yeah, but they looking like a horse titties. and shit. You ever see on the Discovery Channel them big ass girls from Africa with them I big do. ass titties? Yeah. <laughs> it's like all Honestly, the food go to their titties. If I'm hungry, you got to chop one of them titties off, yo. <laughs> I am <laughs> We are ready to eat. Listen, Give me a, some titty meat. you watch those old safaris in Africa like on Discovery Channel, it's right. all titties and yep. dicks. That's, That's why when they dance, they just do that jump shit where they hop in the air and just big ass titties <laughs> flopping like Listen, Beethoven In ears. Africa, their dicks are so so big that they gotta put motherfucking jewelry on them. No. Think about that shit. They put fucking tassels and shit on their dick. Dick segment. Dick talk. <laughs> <laughs> so you like big dicks, too? Huh? Do you like big dicks? Oh my God, Charlamagne. What's your favorite dick? <laughs> Be honest. You want his guy. name? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but do, you like, do you like big dicks? Uh, I, yeah, I'm not afraid of a big dick. 
Because really? I was having a conversation with Trina. I'm not, yeah, I'm not Trina was like, she likes 10 inches or better. I'm like, who the fuck are nah, you fucking? Nah, I'm not afraid. Of, like, I'm not the kind of girl that the guy is like welling down and I'm like, oh, you're not putting that in me. I'm like, yes, let's see what you got. Let's work. Let's see. Because just because it's huge doesn't mean he knows how to use it. Yeah. What so, is, how do you use it? You just get it hard and then you I'm lay down. I'm just saying, no, like, no, some guys don't know how to use it. They just think they ramming you. They, they, they might be hurting you with that big, you know. And you've never you gotten hurt? Cause I know, cause I've 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 slept with a guy with a big dick that didn't know how to use it, and you're like, whoa, you're hyperventilating. You're like, you're hurting me. You're now, hurting me, my insides. Tell me if I'm right. I got a theory that you really can't hurt a girl. Cause if a I girl a girl can have a baby that's seven pounds two ounces, what is my little nah. eight inch dick with with three inches of girl going to do? Nah, first of all, can. first of all, his dick has grown since the last time we had a dick segment. <laughs> no, usually, no, usually, no, usually it's, it's what? usually it's seven and three quarters. <laughs> and what do I always say? And then he always says eight when it's warm. But it's warm now. But here's yeah. the thing: it's summer. You got summer dick. I got summer dick. Oh, okay. <laughs> Get ready, boo. This summer. Dick. I got summer dick. <laughs> you now, terrible. He also thinks that eight inches is this size. Uh-oh. Is eight inches a good size? How many? How many? How many potatoes is it? Two and a half. You're a fucking liar. <laughs> anyway, it don't matter. It don't matter. It don't matter. But, eight inches not a good size, there. If that's your size, boo, I'll marry you tomorrow. Look at that. That's my wife, dog. Yeah, Yo, you guys actually have something am. really nice here. Yeah, except for the fact that he's engaged. So what's the listen, point? Listen. Yeah, but that those so are. Ah, oh, yeah, but that he didn't even say what, Charlamagne. I'm tired of answering that question. question. Yeah, why, why can't I... you just love him for him? Like, why does his life have to dictate your I'm love? Not trying to carry <laughs> a whole bunch of no, baggage but with him. no, but it's not baggage. I'm, I'm not the side piece. I wasn't. Uh, You're not the side piece. No. That you know of. That I know of. Wow. But you know me. I flip tables and park right. cars and living rooms, so that I know of. He ain't got, you know, they ain't got. Wait, you would you have been Donald what? Sterling's side piece? Think about it. Hell no. What? No, 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 no. Because hold he's hold a millionaire. and Billionaire. Well, I don't care. And he told her, you can fuck whoever no, you I want. I know. I heard that. Beat whoever you want. Just don't bring him to the games. I heard. Ten I inch heard. summer dick. What more do you want? He is a I, ten I inch circumcised I, summer dick. I not. I. <laughs> I don't know. I'm not. I'm, some women are born with that chip. I have to get up and look over and 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 look at you and want to be with you. I'm not just gonna be with you because you're paid. If that was the case, I could have been with anybody right now. Yeah. So I have to want to be with you. I have to want. I'm not. I don't really care. I'm not gonna be with no broke dude. Yeah. But I'm not gonna be with you looking like a prune. Like he's so wrinkled and stuff. Can you imagine having to deal with that? Yeah, he's gonna die soon. Though. I don't care. Get those chips. I'm good. Nah, I'll get my own chips. Ah, but that's just me. I know a lot of women that can. I just not. I wasn't born with that chip of just being with. I tried one time to date somebody, and I remember exactly Charlemagne. He was a sugar daddy. Uh, I tried that. I okay. tried. Yeah, he was paid, amazingly paid, very well connected. And I remember being at the dinner table and like literally drinking a whole bottle of wine to see if I could fuck him. Yeah, and I couldn't do it. Was he how old was he? Uh, probably in his forties. Oh, that's not that old. Yeah, but he, I wasn't attracted to him. I wasn't, you know, I knew what he bought. I tried to use that chip that all these women, you know, you got to go. He's do, He can do this. He can do. I'm like, all right, let me see. He was actually a very interesting person. And we, you know, kind of, we have a friendship now, but yeah. I couldn't do it. I couldn't. And I was like, drink, drink to hear me drink. Let's just go. I couldn't do it. Do you have people in your family that encourage you to do that? Like aunts or maybe <clears> sisters that be like, yo, to Harry, you should make sure you get with a baller, trap them. Get pregnant, get that no, security. No, but people do say that. Not family members. My mom my mom raised me well. She just wants me to be happy. Listen, don't get me wrong. I hope my daughter has the same morals and values that <clears throat> you young ladies who have the mentality that you have have. Right. But get what that is money. wrong with getting with a guy that got bread? <laughs> oh, nah. I mean, I just, like I said, I just, ha- I, I've tried. I just have to be with, so I don't want, I don't like to use people. I just want to be with somebody I want to be with. But he's using you. He's using you for pussy right, right. and things like yeah, that. Yeah, but I'm like I said, if I'm not digging you, I don't care how much money you got. Wow. Unless you 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 sign in all that over. But let's be clear. Because what's the point? Let's be clear. A bag and some shoes ain't going to cut it, boo. Talk, call me when you want to purchase like buildings and That's what, that's what he was doing. Girl. Okay, then. But, then, also, right, then, but I can do it. Dating, I can do him. You're not dating broke dudes that you love. True. You're not dating love, a guy who's a like, lot a, to do with but it. no, but I'm saying is like, let's say there's this waiter mm-hmm. at Bennigan's that you really love. I'm, I'm not dating a waiter. That's, but that's my See, point. So it's yeah. like, you're equally superficial on the low end. Probably, probably, but I work really hard. So what does that have at least to do? On your level. I need somebody at least on my level or higher. That's like I can't. Like but I work we really hard. About. Like I'm not trying to go back to the mixtapes. No, I'm not dating. Like I'm not <laughs> doing. <laughs> that. But hold on, hold on. I'm not a mixtape. No, I'm not. I'm not, and I'm saying that very proud because I work really hard. And I'm not coming to your building, and if I have to fucking say excuse me to the 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 dude, the homeless dude, like I'm not, like I'm not. I like I work really hard to get out the hood. I'm of not course. trying to go get dick in the hood. 
the and fuck we is know, the point? We know that shit. And, I, and I'll say yeah. that, and I don't care what nobody thinks. Every day, I make things happen. I, I don't have time for a dude that's, you know, I'm sorry. You don't got to explain to me. Listen, I don't talk to niggas after five. <laughs> I've come a long way in my life. I feel yeah, the same I, way. I I'm can. not going to get no dick in the hood either. I, I can't. I mean, I'm not yeah, going to get know, dick in the hood, yeah, yeah, but you know but what I mean. <laughs> 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 I'm, I don't know what's going on anymore. Yeah, no, I, I don't, I can't. I'm, I'm sorry. But here's the thing. I already you, ate you say shit what a lot with a guy. Girls like, say. I already handled, like, no, no, I already I know, took I care of a man. But you say what a lot of girls say, which is, I won't date anybody below my level. I have to date someone at my level or above. Mm-hmm. And that's why women make 75 uh, cents to uh, the man's dollar. Right. It's okay to have standards, ladies. Absolutely. But no, no. But my point is, girls get upset. Why? Why is it that men make a dollar and women only make seventy five right, cents? Right. And it's like we know we need to make twenty five yeah, more cents to. if you're gonna fuck us. If she's a yeah, if she's on her job. Because I mean, I know a lot of chicks that don't mind and just be with the bum dude. But but, but they bums. No rich, no rich, successful nah, woman. I've seen, and that's another conversation. I've seen women very rich and successful that'll go for that dude that has that's below her because. You know her schedule's so crazy that she has to. She winds up being with that dude whose schedule could be. You know that he can chase after her. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because like in my in my that don't shoot do she but play video games all day. Yeah, because I get on a plane every other day. By the time I get to a city and I might wanna um you know if I feel like flying the bum in right. I'm 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 on my way to the next city. So how do I play footsies? I can't. So I'm gonna have to find a dude. Well, some women do that. Can chase after her because she's so busy and indip- it's hard. But you know, I got a homegirl right now, and you know her that's going through this same cool. shit right now. Can you say she's she? I don't want to say her name, <laughs> but right. she she works at MTV, mm-hmm. and she was married hard. for like seven years. Now she's she's like thirty something, like thirty six. She's dating a twenty three year old dude who don't do shit Nothing. all day, and she's mad. She wants him to do more. But she likes the fact that he's on call whenever, oh, I know yep. whenever she needs, whenever about, he needs. Yeah. It. Sometimes it happens. It but happens. It's rough. She's schedule. got kids, dude. Like the, you don't have that much leverage when you're a girl with kids. You know what I mean? Like you can't be saying, "Explain, oh, Mr. Sexist." Yeah, please. I'm just saying, if you're a girl with kids, you're less desirable. I'm just what? gonna be. Honest. I mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> ain't no dudes going, man. I'm a jerk off Hold to on. that girl. So J Lo is less desirable. <laughs> Absolutely. Get the you're fuck crazy. out of here. Absolutely. You're crazy. Absolutely. The second a girl has a kid, immediately afterwards, I don't want to see her on some Maxim cover pussy hanging out of her bathing suit. What? Saying that girls appreciate with value once they have kids? Absolutely, they appreciate. True. Hold on. So you're true. saying they don't? No, you out of your fucking no. mind. I think women get better when they have kids. Man, shut the fuck up. Seriously, it's shit. a different. It's something different comes out of a woman when they're a mother. Like women already have a yeah, natural the sexiness. Nature. That's what comes out right. of. No, them. no. <laughs> so Beyonce's not that's sexy. Not true. All these women now having babies are, are it's in now. So they all have babies. Nah. So every one of these nah. women, Beyonce, J Lo, who else? We can go on and on and on. Right. They now. They don't have a choice. She got to have one. She's getting old. You know what I mean? You you have a time limit. So. Really? This <laughs> so listen. Hey, listen, listen. You could act like this ain't the truth. But, to this because huh? your girl's like, I'm never having kids with him because he's not going to find me attractive no more once I have his baby. I'm going to adopt an Asian. Man, I, had, I dated a guy <laughs> that was like that too, though. I dated an Asian kid. I dated a guy like that too who it. used to say, oh, if you ever have a baby, I dropped him because of that. I'm like, I could never be with him. Wait a minute. He said, if, if you if, ever if, have whenever, a baby. Like, he said that he used to have these fat jokes and babies and when you get pregnant and, oh my God, it sounded just like you and he got dropped. How can you yeah. say that to a girl and then ask her to hit raw? Hold I'm not on. I'll let you hit raw if you don't want to eat. <laughs> Absolutely. Get me <laughs> Listen, let's let's be clear here. I want to have a family with my girl. I love my girl and I I think she I think I think pregnant women are actually beautiful and and I think I'm going to that Sarah my girlfriend is going to be beautiful when she's pregnant we're going to have this family but if I have to choose a woman to jerk off to when I'm in alone in a hotel it ain't room be somebody with babies. It ain't going to be a 44-year-old woman who just had a third baby. So Bullshit. you wouldn't jerk off to JLo. Say what? You wouldn't jerk off to J Lo. If I had a choice between J Lo and some nineteen year old porn star who's in some casting couch pornography, I'm going with the nineteen year old. First of all, let me tell you something. Else. You know what I mean? if like, if not even a question. I don't want to be jerking off the J Lo and all of a sudden the back of my hair and I hear just say, Wah! <laughs> Wah! Andrew Schultz, let me tell you something. Andrew Schultz, let me tell you something. If you're jerking off to a woman and you're thinking about her kids, something's wrong with you. Yeah, you know why I don't do that? Because I don't, I don't jerk you, off with a woman who has kids. That's why that doesn't happen. You should happen. not be thinking about a woman's kids when you're fucking jerking off. How do you not little mustard stains on her shirt and shit from trying to put together what? ham sandwiches in the morning? Now, I will say, if I'm fucking a girl and she calls me daddy, I don't like that. Because I got a daughter now. So uh, that, that throws that, me the fuck off. That's out. only bad in English. 
<laughs> Say I poppy. I bet like, yeah. Who is I am cool. your poppy. <laughs> poppy. In English, cool. you be like, yeah, you better quit with that father shit. <laughs> so you really don't like girls with kids? Huh? No, no. I didn't say I don't like them. I find pregnant women absolutely beautiful. When I see a pregnant woman, I literally. I want to like be her bodyguard. I want to move people out of her way. I I can't wait to give her my seat on the fucking subway. Like blah, I'm, blah, I'm blah. no, I'm being dead serious. <laughs> to you. I have like this this weird, like uh, paternal like protective instinct when I, when I see pregnant women. But when I have to jerk off, it it isn't gonna be with somebody. It isn't that. gonna be the fucking the fucking lightning strips going down her stomach and shit like that after having a kid. When the last time you masturbated to here? Uh, I'm just tired of hearing about shows talking about jerking off. So I just want to move the masturbation. I'm just, listen, I'm just being real. Like uh, you're saying, you like jerking off to like you just Julia I like Roberts. These, Julia I like fucking Roberts. I don't like these young girls can't do shit for me. I don't like these young 19, 20 year old. I love Charlamagne. Girls. I like seasoned women. You saw the last young chick I had with me. You see the dream he's selling you right now? No, nah, but I mean, I <laughs> you saw the, remember the, what's the last young chick I had? Huh? Remember the last young chick I had? When was Which it, Charlemagne? Who used to always say, what did Charlemagne do for you? She would protect and provide. Oh, he, had this, he had this <laughs> younger version of you. And uh, he did. He had a young version of you. And uh, oh God, but she, dying. but you got rid of her because she wasn't one. fucking. Like How I, young? Like I took her to Miami for the first time. Charlemagne. She was Dominican she was, she was or some shit. What was she? What was she? Dominican? Char- she's Dominican. Charlemagne. So why did you get rid of her? Because I took her to fuck. Miami and she flipped out on all my people. Like all the girls I had with me, she got drunk because it was her birthday and she started talking shit like, why am I with all these ugly girls? What? She why all 21? these ugly girls with me? <laughs> no, no, she spoke even slower. She was slow in the head a little. Like she, Just a little. She literally spoke, spoke at Just this level. Just a little. <laughs> like this level. This is how she would say, Charlemagne. Yeah. Why are all these ugly girls <laughs> with us? And we was walking out of Wet Willies, <laughs> and she like tried to show off because people wanted to take pictures with me. So she was like, "I want hookah, I want hookah." She just started screaming, "She want fucking hookah!" I want some hookah. <laughs> she was Dominican. <laughs> yeah, she was Dominican. Yo, I can't stop laughing. So I had my homeboy grab a thorn. So that's why you got rid of her. No, yeah, I got rid of her because Charlamagne. Really man, her I don't she want to go friend. back to New Jersey. Wait, she, she, was, she was Please. Broken. She shitted on my friend. You're like always girl. sending me back to New Jersey. Oh, she, was on, she was on some um, Jocelyn shit. Don't say back to the CB. <laughs> but no, she was like talking shit to like, she was talking shit about Angela Yee and I don't play that. They're my yeah. peoples. Like you knew on the scene. Like, you Charlamagne, you here. use all your frequent flyer okay. miles to get me she down. She don't even know what that is. <laughs> she definitely so, know what that is. Yo, so, so she was slow and ratchet and you still bagged. He didn't even no, fuck her. I That's the thing, you I didn't, didn't fuck her. her. I didn't even put my dick in her after that. What I did was, we got back to the hotel. She went to her cousin's room. All right. So I said, fuck it, I'm done with her for the weekend. Mind you, this is like Friday night. We're not leaving until Sunday. Oh, wow. So she's like, yo, I'm about, she calls me like 10 o'clock, 10.30. I'm, I'm out already. She's like, yo, I need to get back to the room so I can, you know, change for the night. I don't even respond to her. So she, she and all her stuff me, was in your all in her stuff. Room. Oh my god! So finally, around midnight, she go about about, about midnight. She goes, "I gotta change my pad." <laughs> oh my, oh, my, pad my god! I don't got no tampon, <laughs> whatever, whatever. So I go, "That's your problem. You act like a bitch. I'm gonna treat you like a bitch." And she's like, wow. "I can't even walk to the store." My shit is oh leaking. Oh my god! <laughs> Tell her to fold up some toilet paper. That's what she probably <laughs> you, had to you do. You got Because I didn't go back to the room till like twelve thirty, twelve forty-five. Then I told her get get your stuff. And you, she got out. Get the fuck out. It was done. That's it. You haven't seen her since. She's she's texted me since then, talk, apologizing, telling me she's sorry, whatever, whatever. But that's when I realized I can't deal, deal with, with that young 20, shit. Yeah, you can't. But that wasn't young shit. That was, was young shit, man. She was that autistic. Is young. That was she, young. She, I'm she, feeling was my she was autistic, Charlamagne. She was like, if you took her to Vegas, she's gonna win you tons of money at a blackjack table. Man. That was a beautiful like, yeah. autistic girl. Tell me she wasn't beautiful. No, she was very attractive, but the way she spoke, the speed in which she spoke was shockingly <laughs> slow. Like, I would be sitting there like, bitch, if you don't finish this fucking sentence <laughs> in the next minute, please. <laughs> so how long have you known Charlamagne? <laughs> Charlamagne. Charlamagne. That's insane, Charlamagne. But no, the moral of the story is I like seasoned women. Yeah. Agreed. I like girls okay. with kids. Maturity. Maturity. Yeah. I like that. That's fine with me. Now, you said you don't want to date mixtape rappers no more. No, I'm not doing nothing. Do you still no. get up some people ask you about Joe Buttons? No, I don't. But that was your ex? Yeah, that's. I mean, that's how the world met Tahiri online with Joe Buttons. So I, I don't blame him. They don't look at you now still and be like, oh, that's the chick. That's no. That's Joe Buttons, girl. They look at me and they congratulate me for turning down the proposal. And it just, I'm like, you know, people are inspired by my story. I get a lot of, I broke up with my boyfriend after you broke up with Joe. Wow. <laughs> I'm like, I hope he deserved it. 
But I get a lot of the whole women empowerment uh, that I didn't let him step all over me and just, you know, kind of got blindsided because he bought a ring. Hold on. People are inspired that you turned down a pr- proposal that, to Joe that, I, that I'm able to, like, I was able, like, people knew I loved Joe. People wanted, you know, like, I wanted to marry him eventually. People saw the love story. You know, and but if and you follow Joe on Twitter, you could see why you wouldn't want to marry him. You could see why it's easy to turn women, but him. women. Why? Is, why I don't follow him? He's Joe's just ratchet. Yeah, he's. Way I thought ratchet. he's pretty funny. Every time I see he someone, he is funny. Retweet, he yeah. is funny. He is funny. Um, but no, women just kind of like you know they they seem to struggle with Joe and I. So to be able to walk, some women, most women would have took that ring. Do you want to get married? Absolutely. Do you want to have kids? Absolutely. How many? I'm gonna hook you up, boo. About two. About to. That's it. Do you think you can manage that? Absolutely. He's engaged. Blah. I am. Why do y'all keep saying this stuff? Why do you care so much about his personal life? <laughs> <laughs> like, just let the man have his no, life, and then he's with you on Tuesday. <laughs> You're gonna get all the Tuesday. I don't, I don't see what the Tuesday. problem with that is. <laughs> like, like that's his business. Let the man no, live. No. Well, he can live, but you no, know, I don't he, want to. Is he asking you what? I don't you're want engaged? Tuesday. I don't want to. Zip. What do you I'm want? I'm sure you got a special someone. Who me? Yeah. Uh, I've gone on dates, dinner. Just, do you like date? What does it take to date? To I don't right? really like to date. I, you know, I. But I have to date in order to find Mister. You know, perfect. Do you still Are have you... to date to fuck? Huh? You still yeah. have to date to fuck? I've never had a one night stand. So. Really? Yeah. Never. What? Never. Never. You're pushing the funny. seasons as I thought it was. Yo, dude. I've never had a one night stand. Ever. How many people have you slept with? What's really? your body count, boo? <laughs> <laughs> that was such a better way to ask it. When I yeah, asked I it, she looked at me like, oh my God, why are you asking me these things? And you said some hip hop shit. Too professional. What's your body count, boo? How many, how many and she you, started many giggling. Bodies, Charla, you sound like, man. You sound like okay. somebody's doctor. You sound like somebody's doctor, Andrew. Like, you know, before you have an age test, how many sexual partners have you had? Uh, All right, so what's up? Like, what's your body like count? Four. Boo. Boo. <laughs> what is your body count, boo thing? Like four. Four um, lion ass. Anywho, uh, moving on. Uh, no, never had a one-night stand, which is weird, right? People still... like You, you can't have that many surprised. guys, then. I've had one one-night stand in my life. One? Yeah. Come she, on, Charlamagne. No, no, seriously. I'm- <laughs> Charlamagne. <laughs> that shit is contagious no. now. You know my problem, yo? What's that? I need intimacy, yo. Me I'm too. an intimate guy. Me too. I like to kiss. Me too. I like to hug. Me too. I like Who to are you? I like, I like 45 year old pregnant women with four kids <laughs> that I can be really intimate with and hang out with and are hopefully autistic or have slight Asperger's. <laughs> I like to talk. I like to. What the fuck is Asperger's? Asperger's is like mild autism. I oh, okay. Yeah. But for I like to I like to have conversations and shit. Like I can't just fuck a girl. Yeah, it's so hard. It is. You just, you just can't find the pussy unless they're interesting. <laughs> <laughs> it's impossible. It just closes up. Just I did closes it once up. Once in my life, just yeah. to see if and I could do it. And how did it feel? It Not was actually pussy, really good. The situation, like you just going in, smashing, and, yep. and then you're out of there. Yep. Dash. When I was uh, doing radio, did you even know her name? I don't even remember her name to this day. Wow. And she wasn't even beautiful. She wasn't even cute. Like she was about a five how, on a good day. How, how was the the JJ? Though? She was really good. Mm-hmm. And you still don't remember her? I name. don't remember her name. And she had braces. And I remember. <laughs> No, she, did she was 11. She was an 11-year-old she was girl. 11. I picked her up outside of third grade, I'm and uh, we did what we had to do. I'm a choke over here. She was not 11. It was just like one, one of those nights I wanted to see if I could do it. Like, I wonder if I can just walk up to this random chick. And try to smash. Yeah. Tell her I want to smash, and she's with it. And she was with it. And that's the one time I had one night. And you didn't get an ego boost out of that? I don't know, because I am I think I overthink things too much. So I'm like, yeah. maybe she's just a really loose girl. You sound like the Here's Like, the, I'm never the type of person to be like, I'm I, that fly. Totally, totally get it. That a girl would want to fuck me totally on the first night. Here's the ego I think that you get from a one-night stand. It's knowing the girl doesn't want to have a one-night stand, but she's so overwhelmed with passion in the mm. moment that she gives you some pussy. Now, I'm aware, I know you're rolling your eyes, and I learned this later in life that... A lot of times, girls like we always go. Oh, I kicked a game, and then she fucking gave me some pussy. Mm-hmm. I think a lot we of times, know. a girl's cat died. Uh, what? <laughs> and she's lonely. And she's like, I just want someone to hold me. <laughs> Snuffles I is can't. dead. I'm <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> My pussy just died. So I need to give up this <laughs> pussy to I feel better. <laughs> but some shit might have happened in your yeah, day. It's, it's catching them when they're vulnerable. Exa- what you're saying. Exactly. Yeah. So it's not that you're that fly. It's just that the woman, you know, she but, might be going through some things. Exactly. And wants to be helped. Okay. Have but you ever we given up some vulnerable vagina, Terry. Absolutely. Vulnerable vagina, <laughs> fucking hashtag yes. king over here. Absolutely, but you know what? The older you get, you realize um, that you know that's the that's the wrong thing to do. Like 
and 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 I've seen guys, and I'm not gonna name a couple of dudes in the industry, and and they target like you know big you know celebrity couples break up, and you get that inbox, that DM of that dude wanting to be there, and I'm not gonna say who he is, but I broke up with Joe and he hit me, and now I see him move on to the next situation, celebrity couple break up, and and he and and he's there, the the the, the good friend. That's just trying Listen, to get some lions. Pussy. I know who it is. <laughs> oh, I think I, I know who it is. That sounds like yes. Yeah. 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 No, that's, it is. that's him. Can no. we say it? No. <laughs> no. Nah, oh, nah, but what I'm saying is right like, like, Actually, dude, I don't know. I'm Tyrese. Dude, I, I see some dudes. Is that who it is? Nah. Tyrese? Nah. Yeah, it is nah, Tyrese. Nah, Tyrese. No, Swear to God, in your life? Nah. Twitter so why are you looking life. up left? No, because Tyrese hollered later. No, nah, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Shout out to Tyrese. No, it was it's Tyrese. <laughs> but what I'm saying is that, yeah, guys, I guess, do that. But I know now, maturity, that, you know, until I'm done healing, I'm not even. You ever watch National Geographic theory? Uh once in a blue so you know how the lions when mm-hmm. they're going to attack yeah. they they don't attack the strongest animal mm-hmm. the weakest mm-hmm. one they attack the yeah, weak I one know, the I little understand. one and and today I'm like yeah bye when what I'm makes a woman up. vulnerable though like, what know, sometimes she be going you're going through? through you know a breakup no but I want to know what makes what, what makes you so vulnerable that you want to fuck <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you usually, when you're vulnerable, you want somebody to talk to. to uh, like, what makes you want to just? I want. I gotta. Some, fuck to get some, over some shit. women are just angry going through that situation and just go on a fucking rampage. Spite and just fuck. Be, yeah, just, just, just do it. But what you about? Gr- or, or you know how people say, you know, in order to get over somebody, you got to get under somebody. Yeah, yeah. Do girls, I, I don't. That doesn't work. Do for girls me. know that doesn't work with guys? Because all I do is when I start hearing that, yo, you know, she fucking this yeah, person. Like I'm like, well, she's a hoe. I'm yeah, glad I'm not with I'm disgusted. Yeah, it changes everything. What What about? What about the idea of sleeping with somebody afterwards because you were in a relationship where you didn't feel any love? So you're just like, I just want to feel like this guy that likes That sounds me. Like, like she needs therapy. <laughs> no, but like a lot of times girls would be in relationships with a guy or a guy will be in a relationship with a girl and feel like just not desired by that person. Right. And they once they break out of that relationship, they're like, I know somebody's going to use me, but I just want well, to I, fucking feel to like feel someone like, likes me yeah, today. I, I remember know? breaking up um, with Joe and someone uh, and, and the next guy that started hanging around me just t- taking out the trash and I was in love I was like oh, he took out the trash Jesus Christ raise your standards to hear you yeah. no that was back the then out. but what I'm saying oh. but that's what I'm saying like he makes sense like yeah. he had, he did not he didn't do what you're supposed to do and I came from that so having somebody who was doing the norm to me was abnormal I was in love which made some sense later when I look back I'm like yo I was bugging I spent all this time with this dude that didn't do a lot of these things right and I was still around him, like I was bugging out. So Joe so, wouldn't take the trash out. Just little things, like he wouldn't the little tell you things. That you're beautiful today. Uh, he wouldn't no. notice no, your I hair mean, he changes. No, I mean he was he was attracted to me from day one to year five. Gotcha. But like the little things, Chivalry was dead. Wait a minute, what? He was attracted with to you to from, you from day, day one. one to, same attraction. Yeah, level, same you think? attraction. Like I couldn't walk around the kitchen without him trying to put his hands in between my cheeks. Like it, every day, like it just never. Really? You think men turn into groupies? Because I, I got a I got a theory that. Men are bigger groupies than women. They are. Because a lot of times, like, I see a lot of guys who won't even be into their chicks until they start getting on TV and they start getting attention from other people. Then they become groupies. Yeah, males are bigger groupies. Bigger groupies? Yeah, they, I mean, women I've are never groupies, seen a guy throw his underwear at Lady you know, Gaga. They, they throw in a whole bunch of other shit, but they just really are groupies. Like they do the craziest. Shit. Guys are bigger groupies for guys now too. Like you go to these parties and it's like everybody these, wants an Instagram picture. Yes, and they're like, yo, man. you're a man. Like I see guys crowd around the Meek Mills and the Drakes, and it's like, That's what are y'all doing? Yeah, like That's I understand showing off. some love, giving the dude the power, like yo respect. But yo, you really just trying to get close to him to get an Instagram pic? Yeah, that's not cool. But you know, it ain't even about Meek Mills. What's it about? Showing it's about off. showing off. It's about look what I'm doing. I'm hanging with Meek Mills. I don't think that means anything anymore. But to and what them, I mean, and what I mean by that is, we know that you're not really hanging with this person. You just saw him somewhere. But all and took his a friends and shit like that. Like for example, you like, was at the popping party. You was at the popping exactly. party. Exactly. You are that dude. But you're yeah. really the cornball that I'm looking at from across my like across the fucking place, saying like that's why I can't talk to you because you're whack. Do you do you like the scene? Like do you like the pop, being at the popping parties and all that shit? Like uh, that? it's cool. Like I was out last night and I was over it. I'm over it now. Um, but I'm not gonna be. I'd, I'd rather be at the popping party than being at the, the you know, just. I'd rather party. be home playing Xbox. One. I'd rather be on the couch in a sweatsuit, of course, instead of having these lashes and, and the eyeshadow. But I gotta go handle my business. I was gonna. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna put on something fly because I know I'm gonna see to Harry today, and I was like, fuck, it, I'm just gonna put on my. Jordan but I love sweatsuit. you no matter what. I know you do. Yeah, wow. I'll, take, I'll take you as is. Hold on, wait a minute. So you just you said I'm gonna put on the sweatsuit, mm. 
And but sweatsuits that, are sexy. Yeah, but does that make you the fact that he made a decision which was I want to put on something fly to impress her, but then you know what? Fuck it. No, it wasn't fuck it. <laughs> it was just like I would rather be comfortable when I see her as yeah. opposed to having on some PRPS jeans that may or may not be too tight. Oh, sidebar. <laughs> Wax got some PRPS jeans. <laughs> and he put them on. That shit was so fucking tight. And he was trying to do lunges in them. <laughs> the like, rips yeah, were just tearing bigger. I'm telling him that they not too tight. I'm like, nah, oh, them good, shit. dog. Them good. He was like, hold up, man. He was doing lunches. He looked like Wiz Khalifa in them. <laughs> I can't. You know, guys, everything guys do is for y'all, right? Yeah. Except sneakers. I used to work at strip clubs. I was a bartender at strip clubs, and, and I knew how to work them. Like, I would go to the to the back to get singles, and I would I, I had the closest door to my bar, but I walk around the other side so the other guys could see the stacks I was bringing to the dude on my bar, mm. and then they would just kind of all battle. It's all about, you know, it's not about, it's about just showing off. So Did you can, ever strip? No. I didn't have, I don't have that chip either. I but, thought about it. I don't. I'm too shy. Okay, so why? So this is what I always wondered about the strip club, right? Which is you got to be in a bikini when you're a, now. Uh, oh, now, but back in I the mean, day, you were what? Back then, I wore black. Now everybody's naked. Oh, because when I see these waitresses at the strip now, club, that changed. Like, thank God I retired before that happened. No, I hear you, but like I see these waitresses at the strip club, right? And yeah. they're in a bikini, uh-huh. right? And they're making nothing compared to the strippers. Yeah. And it's like, it's not like there's that much more dignity. In cov- covering your fucking areola. Yeah, now everybody's just naked, period. So but you might as well strip. Yeah, that's true. That's how I saw it. That's why I would try to quit all the time when they would bring me these shorts. And I I, I just thought to myself, I don't, y'all don't pay me enough to be naked. Or yeah. I can just go and dance. But now everybody's naked. But they make really good money. I mean, I made a lot of money wearing black. Did you see yourself doing things like reality TV and stuff back then? Because I used to hear about you even back then. It's like, yo, it's this chick named Tahiri. She's a bartender in Jersey. She bad. Mm-hmm. And then it went from that to, yo, you know that the girl that's with your buttons online, that's the chick I was telling you about. Mm-hmm. Like, did you see yourself, like, being on the big screen and stuff like that? Not then. Back then I was thinking, home, kids, I graduated college, I'm hustling, get my money, dealing with Joe. I wasn't thinking TV. YouTube's, the YouTube clips came out, and um, I still wasn't really, I was just enjoying it. People weren't approaching y'all back then to do reality yeah, television? Yeah, yeah. And right before we broke up, right before I broke up with him the first time. So that's why y'all never did it? Yeah. We, y'all could we been like talks. the first love in hip-hop Yeah, they shit. were, um, and it wasn't even Mona. It was like, you know, Ryan Seacrest, the, um, Stan what? Lathan. What? Like Stan Lathan. Like people were like. What? Wait, that was old. Um, people were people were coming forward to, to like uh, Russell Simmons had a meeting with us. Forget uh, Russell. Ryan Seacrest approached y'all about doing a reality show. You said show. no. Huh? No, we didn't say we broke up before that. Like people uh, were in the works. They were talking. Y'all could have got back together just to fake it for Ryan Seacrest. No, we couldn't do that. We couldn't do that because you know Joey wraps up. You know how emotional Joey is. So I went back. I remember moving, saying, "You know, we could still do this, right?" And he yeah. was like, "Bitch, get out of here." I was like, "All right, well, bye." Listen for all the <laughs> niggas that's listening who may be like, "Why would Ryan Seacrest do that?" Ryan Seacrest was behind the Kardashians. Well, that was franchise. back then. I mean, that was that was a conversation that Joey had with me and saying that everybody was reaching out. You know, wanted meetings with us at the time. Oh, he might have been lying just to make you feel I bad about breaking up. With but him. it was, it was no, that was we wasn't even thinking about breaking up. It was just we were hot online. Yeah. And then we met with Russell, uh, then um, Stanley, then too. Like people were like reaching out. So. So so what, what do you what do you what do you do you enjoy doing the reality TV? Thing? Yeah, I do. Do they be trying to make you do ratchet shit? Because uh, you're not like ratchet. Like you seem to walk away from that kind of shit. I um. I don't walk away from that kind of shit. I just, I, I'm actually like, I just live my life on camera. I'm just very lucky. Like as the season goes by, like things just happen. They happen in real time. So I think that's why the, the you know, my audience loves the, that my story because it's actually happening. I'm not making things up. I don't have to. My life is very dramatic. Have they tried to make you do things that you you don't do? Uh, yeah. I, I mean, they don't, they don't make you. They suggest or you know, certain situations are you know lined up. So they'll say like, "Hey, you're gonna go to this funeral, and then we're gonna shoot you." No, no, we know, <laughs> no, we know. Um, <laughs> Did you hear that story? <laughs> no, Benzino. Hello. Oh, wow. You didn't know you Benzino didn't, got no, shot. No, at I a know he fu- got shot, but I don't know. It was, it I was, was on the show. His mom's oh yeah, when he okay. Yeah, yeah. I think that that happened off camera. They had to reenact it in order to tell the world the story. 
So what happens is, for instance, yeah, whacked me. Well, what you, what some, like you know what happens? We can't have cameras on us 24 hours a day. Yeah. Because then the stories would be all over the place. Like, they have to. So let's say you and I are together on Sunday and something happens. And they speak to you on Monday. They like to hear what happened when me and Charlemagne did this, that, and the third. What? What? But the cameras weren't around. I love so it. now. I'm imagining us together. <laughs> Shut up. What would you guys so, be doing? Watching TV. Uh-huh. You know, sweat. Sweats. Eating. Romantic. Pizza. Eating no? pizza. Yeah. Carbs. Yeah. Yeah. It'll start cheat day. Yeah, Sundays. Okay, yeah. then what happens next? <laughs> Probably suck a fart out of bed. <laughs> he always says that. I Yo, would definitely I eat your ass here. Like, there's no well, you way better. Could... There's no reason to be down there if you ain't going to just take it all in. So you like getting your salad tossed? You have to. You might. You down there, you better go all in. That's what I like. Do you girl, toss salad? Like front. Huh? Do you toss salad? <laughs> Hold on, let me you ask it in a fancier way. No, <laughs> What's your body salad think... count tossing <laughs> abilities, yo? Yo, you be about that salad bar yo, and shit? I cannot. <laughs> I don't think I don't think it's gay if you are tossing the guy's salad. Now, you can't just if you let me stick or I would never try to stick anything in <laughs> back there. Yeah. But if a guy allows you to do more than just lick he said he likes a finger. Strotum and all that. Then, that. then you that, did say you like the fit. Last episode cool. <laughs> no. that we fucking fit. Hold on. <laughs> no. You said I enjoy a no, finger. I did not you said say the, that. your thickest finger. You said I enjoy. Hey, <laughs> you said you like the Siskel and Ebert. The fuck I cannot do thumbs, thumbs up. up. <laughs> I don't mind getting my salad tossed though, because if a girl eats your ass, she can never talk shit about you. Yo, um, no matter what she really? says about you, you'd be like, "Yo, you ate my ass though." Insurance. That's what. That's what it is. Well, I don't. I don't. I don't see. So I don't you think won't eat anything. ass. No, I've. I've. You've eaten I've ass. Eaten. Okay. So every Spanish girl I know is about that tossing salad life though. They are. Yes, it's true. They'll eat your ass and get their ass eaten. That's why I love them. That because you will never leave a Spanish girl because of some shit she wouldn't do in bed. I feel that way. Like, I feel like you guys go hard. Like, oh, every no, Spanish do. girl that I know is gone. fuck. She's like, hey, you might leave me, but it ain't going to be because I didn't do some shit. It's the passion that y'all had. We take care of our men. It's that spicy shit. It's them years yeah. of rice and fucking beans. All that Goya shit. <laughs> all that the shit, platanos. Yes. That shit fucking translates into pure passion. <laughs> Their food is dicks. They, see, <laughs> they serve a platano with every platano. meal. <laughs> like, of course you're going to suck some dick when you've been eating that shit. I bro, told every, fucking... <laughs> every Spanish girl I've been with, I told her, I, I love you. Really? really? Yeah. You just Tarlemagne? You said I love you too? <laughs> Tarlemagne? I don't know if I told her because I was only with her for How like long month. did it take her to say that I love you back? That was a hot month for that girl. I took that girl places she ain't never been in a month. I took to the MTV Movie Award. <laughs> oh, you was just like, you really? Bucking. That's what you're doing? Uh, you're bugging out. Horrible. I'd have seen you. I'd have pulled you aside. We tried. I was wilding. I pulled her aside and I said, that, where's this really? bitch's helmet? Because I thought that she was retarded <laughs> the entire time. I said, Charlamagne, <laughs> you put her fucking helmet on when we take her to the awards. I don't want her falling or finding some ice cream and starting to fucking eat it. Okay. This is, this is going to be a It was only a month, though. Wax used to tell all the time, I ate Cinderella. It's, 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 this shit going to turn into a pumpkin at yeah. any moment. So you, you better guys. enjoy this shit while you, while you got it. You ever been in a situation oh, like so that where you know you was dealing with a dude where he in any moment he was going to fucking Good. pull the rug from under you? No. Really? Never. Sorry. Can't you relate. Swear your pussy that good that you just got to. I've just all never been to. Here. I've never had issues like that. Really? If anything, I I'm, I sit back and I'm like, mm, yeah, I think I'm over him. Cause I cause I I get it. Like I don't really like to date a few dudes at once. Like I like to if I'm if I'm fucking with you, I'm fucking with you. And that's yeah. it. That's just who I am. Um, but I be the one who be over shit. Do you have any ones who got the got away? Like you look at them down and be like, damn, I should have got pregnant from that motherfucker. No, one that got away. Mm-mm. No, not one guy. They got. Now I've been in relationships forever. I just started to like actually see what's out there, like to date after my breakup. So I've always been like five years here, six years here, two years there. You seem like a relationship person. Yeah, I am. I enjoy relationships. I hate to be in the dating scene. I hate, hate, hate it. I don't really care to just be out Monday, Tuesday with the next dude, Wednesday with the next dude. Like I don't enjoy it. Can you fuck without dating? Huh? Um, I have. I've had a fuck buddy. If that's what you. Want to call it? I Those have. are the best. No strings attached. That's it. I'd rather not do that. What happened though. to Mr. Intimacy? No, 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 no. I no, still no, no, want to no. be intimate. She said she had a fuck buddy, meaning it was somebody that she used to fuck on the regular. I'm sure y'all used to be intimate and passionate. You were cool. But you knew it you wasn't. You were cool, but it wasn't cool. like he was kissing your forehead before you left. He got caught up. It's nothing wrong with that, though. I was cool. No, it was cool. You I just, just got to bring him back to reality. I just knew that that wasn't going to be the man I was going to be with. But he, we were good for a while. Have you ever been fucked to Jodeci? 
Yes. I tell girls all the time, your vagina has no value if a man's never fucked you to Jodeci. Yes, to Jodeci. That's a fact. To shot I've hey, never fucked anybody to, to Jodeci or so you haven't, really? got, you haven't come but across the right person. But I'm also not 43 years old, so maybe that's the reason. No. <laughs> Jodeci is <laughs> a... Who the jo- fuck is jo- listening to Jodeci? What? <laughs> come on. Any yo. 80s baby listens to Jodeci. <laughs> I don't. I'm an 80s baby. But you're white, though. You need to get on Jodeci. Hey, baby. I know some young dudes with like some fucking, you know, huge... Discographies like just huge just just into music. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like they, they really know about music. Yeah. They really know and they they will play a Jodeci and I'll be surprised. Like how do you know about Jodeci? You don't fuck the music shows? I fuck. I you fuck don't too. fuck the music? If I love a girl, I fuck her to like some Green Day. Okay. I'm just joking. You saw my face? I was like, I didn't know. I'm like, I don't know. Maybe, maybe no, it's a white thing. Honestly, I don't fuck maybe the music. Maybe it's a white thing. I don't fuck the music. You don't fuck the music? Mm-hmm. That is kind of cool, though. Fucking the music is great. It's the best. I don't, yes. honestly, when I, when I fuck, I'm very, I get lost easily. Like, I get lost in it. I don't think about the fact that I'm fucking or anything like that. I just get fucking lost. I'm very just kind of primal, you know, aggressive. So I don't need some shit to distract I me. I love me some music. Because it, yeah. it, it, it all depends. Like, music says a lot. Like, how you, how I'm feeling when it comes to me no, being in the sure. bedroom. I'm like, sure. some, cool. some Jodeci would be fucking, I'm into that, passionate, but you put some ratchet shit is going <laughs> Really? <laughs> you fuck the ratchet? The ratchet? I, I, I fuck the ratchet. Something just high tempo that you could bounce with. I used to love the fuck the nephew man bring the pain. When I, this girl, I, no, seriously, the, when I lost my virginity, it was to a girl. I can't. Her name was Missy. Mm-hmm. And I used to fuck her in her trailer when her mom was at work. And we, they, like, Rap City used to be on. And when Bring the Pain would come on, I would just lose it. <laughs> like, I would just love to fuck the nephew man bring the pain. You know? Nah, like I would turn Rap City pain. on at four o'clock, yeah. and hoping that shit came on. Bring the pain came on, and like, that's when you was oh, giving her the to best. Get it. What? <laughs> now you about to get this dick the right Yo, way. Yo, you are too much. So what's next, boo? What do you mean what's next? What's next? I want to know like what's the what's the what's the plan for Team to Harry now? Do you want to do more reality TV? Absolutely. I see you doing bigger stuff than reality TV though. I agree. Like I get like you got a personality. It's not um it's not my end all be all. So I, I'm I'm good with right now even trying to make a decision on. You know, being on or being off, or you know what they expect from me and what I want to give. Mm-hmm. Um, that's where I'm at right now in my career. Some of these things could h- hurt you more than they can help you. Um, and uh, I think that my brand is, you know, growing, and and I see myself doing other things. So I know that reality TV shows, are, it's not gonna just be what that. What other things? Uh, acting, uh, hosting. Uh, I already do the red carpets. You know. I see you the looking. VMAs, I saw you, man. The I saw you, the VMAs looking fine. The VMAs, the the ESPYS, the draft, the BT. Like I, I'm doing those. So I'm doing other things. So. Yeah, I saw you at the draft. A lot of those young boys were trying to get at you. Like, oh, they, you know, they, I'm about we to be were, a millionaire. We, we were we were locking eyes on their way down. Like they had already seen me on 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 the carpet. So and you they've know. been jacking off to you for years. I'm sure. I had one of them. I'm not even gonna say his name. He was like they was trying to rush him in, and he was like he was like I have to speak to Tahiri. He was like Ma because he was with his Ma. He's like Ma, I have to speak to Tahiri. So he kind of like busted a U and came back to do the um to, to interview. So it's pretty cool. I mean, and the moms were also excited to see me. Tahiri loving hip hop. They just uh, love the whole. To hear he loves stories. Nobody hit you with the I'm about to be a millionaire line, ma. Nah. They, I mean, they were excited to see me, but they were nervous themselves. They didn't even well, know when they were going to get a No. Now, come on. We just had the discussion no, that I don't saying. care how much she money you have. Care, dude. I don't care. I, I, I grind. There's no potential penis? Like, it's a, no. it's, some penis has potential. Like, no. you see this guy yeah. walking around the red carpet. You know, about to be a millionaire. Money is a, like, I think money for you is a prerequisite. Yeah. You have to have money have if you money. want to talk to me. So don't yeah. come to me with just yeah, money. Yeah, I don't really. Got you. Money is yeah. the is the bare minimum. And mm. then show me some other shit after that. Yeah, like, come on. Like, do other, like, that's cool. Have money and have a tasty asshole. So what? Yeah. <laughs> eat the right you shit. You know you're going to eat that shit. Taste. Get that motherfucking pineapple in, baby. <laughs> oh, I love pineapples. That's why I eat pineapples so much. So what if you're having a conversation with a guy, you like his personality, you know what I'm saying? You're like, I really dig this dude, you know what I'm saying? You see the bulge in his sweatpants, and then you're like, yo, but he don't have no money. I'll probably entertain it. See what's up. Be honest. Just be honest. <laughs> and I don't just, reward that shit because then dudes out there are going to be like, no, 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 no. Don't I have it. No, I'm not, I'm not rewarding it. But I have gone on a date with a guy who I knew what didn't have much. But he, you know, I enjoyed his company. But he just lasted two, three outings. Yeah, you didn't he, fuck him. Nah, for what? Kiss him? No. Didn't even make out. You mm-hmm. went on three days without kissing. I'm a huge cuddler too. I like to Me cuddle. Too, man. Shit, I, I like get, to if cuddle. I'm cuddling, I'm, like, I'm hey, a body I've, I've been, type yo, of listen, uh, I've been known to cuddle for like a year before I even think about giving you some ass. Let me tell you something. You're gonna get, <laughs> you're gonna get nut on without you even know it. <laughs> oh, I like that too, though. Really? I can live with. Be, I love it on me. So it's, okay, would, let me shut up. No, no, yeah, no, I just, no, yeah, no, 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 don't shut up. So a guy will, <laughs> will beat up, will beat off on you. Yeah, bust all on me. But you won't fuck him. No. 
I so don't mind. I even pose. I even make it clap. <laughs> really? That's enough for me, you know. What is that? I can do it. Like I, I start can, telling people I fucked you if I said that. I, listen, <laughs> I, listen, I can uh, cut totally you. Yeah. Hell yeah! I'm I would be no. fine. I would be fine with being your teddy bear, cuddling with you, and jacking off on you, watching you naked. Yo, ja- so you jacking get off, off is cool. I that. like to, to watch men. <laughs> no, because there's a desire that that's all that is. Is oh my god, I'm turning yeah, him amazing. off so much. I think it's amazing. I hate when guys are like, oh, but what do you mean to jerk off? You're right here, and I'm like, do it, shut up and do that's it. That's right, jerk off. Like you? jerk and, off and play with my balls as I'm jerking off. Yeah, like shut up. But she like, won't have play fun. with the balls. You won't play with the balls. I would, of course. I mean, if I if I've tossed a salad, I will. No, play I'm saying this before the fuck. Oh yeah, I mean when you feel when I feel comfortable with a person, like it's yeah, let's have fun. Shows who are you fucking that's not playing with your balls? Yeah. First of all, Hello. I'm only fucking one person, my girlfriend. <laughs> yeah. Second of there. all, and she will play with my balls from time to time. But here's the thing. <laughs> I don't first of all, this ball shit is a lie. What? What you mean? There's balls, you don't feel anything. You don't? No, it's come that's on, bull I mean, shit. Come on. Hey, I'm gonna keep it real with you. He's gonna lie to you because he's selling his dream because he heard you say, Oh, you like balls? Like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I got three of them. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are terrible. So we we whatever you whatever a girl says in her life, I would never do that. That's what we want. Yeah. So a girl said at some point in time to us, I would never suck a guy's balls. And then we start going, Oh, I would really like if you suck my ball. maybe for my birthday if you could suck my balls. <laughs> I love my Yo. balls played with. I I'm just sorry. I love to play with balls. I mean, they're fun to play with. That's why As we always one, hold them. Being in control is great. So, oh, you're sucking, control. licking, it's all good. Like, what do we, I mean, I I have a friend who said in front of me recently, like, she doesn't like to suck dick. I didn't understand. Get the fuck out of here. She's, yeah, she's like, oh, uh, she's like, oh, uh, I don't. I'm like, what? A lot of women, though, feel that way. They don't like a to lot, suck dick? A lot of, I've heard a lot of women. What one of my friends said it. I was surprised. But I've heard a lot of women say, I'm you know good. What? I'm good. I'm like, what? She's nah. bad at it. That's why. That's crazy. I'm being dead serious to you. A girl in that situation was bad at it, couldn't get a guy off, and then her confidence is fucked up. Very on her. true. So girls that can get a guy off with a blowjob, why wouldn't they do it? Because it's just like we said before, it's that ego boost mm-hmm. that I could bust him off in a fucking minute. Word mm-hmm. up. I'm the shit. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't like no pessimistic pussy. I like that. That is I, pessimistic. That's pussy. pussimistic pussy. Like, what you remember, was the like, earlier remember, shit you said? These <laughs> hashtags are amazing. Yeah, yeah, pessimistic vulnerable pussy. Vagina. There was something and then vulnerable vagina. vagina and pessimistic pussy. Holy you remember when Carly Rae Jepsen had that song, Call Me Maybe? Yes. yes. I would never call you because mm-hmm. you said maybe. Yeah, mm-hmm. you like, got The real girl's shit. like, Call me. Yeah, what's up? You know what I'm saying? No. And, and like, a girl that can really suck dick be like, Yo, let me suck your dick. Mm-hmm. Or not, not even let me suck your dick. I'm gonna suck the fuck out your dick. I'm gonna I don't say shit. Just grab it and start going at it. You wake up to like, oh shit. I remember there was this girl in high school that would say that she was going to rape me, right? Now, rape is not something to joke around about. I swear to God, this girl said, she's like, I'm going to rape you. And uh, and I, rape is not something to joke around about, but the confidence that she said it to me with, I was like, I know I'm supposed to not like it if you're going to rape me, but I would. I think that's pretty hot. I really wish she would stop me. talking about raping around women, okay? Why? Does it make him feel uncomfortable? You, you don't know what the Harry's been through in her life. She could have gotten raped before. God forbid. So the, is that a no? No. no so we I'm can never. keep talking about the rape then? Okay, well, Charlamagne, good. what you did to me last week, was that considered rape? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. All right. Never oh, mind. So not have it. <laughs> I'm real, joking. Oh, some real no. shit happened. <laughs> no. Huh? no. You I'm were joking. doing a couple. No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> You're engaged. <laughs> I swear, probably would have been. Could you stop with this I'm engaged thing? Yo, okay, listen, okay. She's talking about it. That's just man's life. whatever. You're right. You want to know what he does for a living too? Just fucking like him for who he is. Tuesday. You know what I, mean? I can have all Tuesday. Not every Tuesday, but you See, know. Yeah, no, we go to every other Tuesday. <laughs> no, you're gonna get a Tuesday. You're gonna get maybe a Saturday morning. I'm not. Tahiri can get every day. That's my bull right there. Really? I have made it publicly known. That's my baby. Tahiri. That is true. Listen, I didn't know that. I think Tahiri's a beautiful woman. Thank you. Not just man. physically, but I think mentally she's a, a beautiful person. I like her spirit. I like her energy a lot. I think she has a nice ass. I love him okay. too. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, Tahiri, uh, anything you want to plug before we get out here? Uh, Intimacy 2014 on com, and uh, that's about it for right now. Absolutely. Show. Yo, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for um, having me. Yeah, uh, make sure you watch Guy Code and uh, Jobs That Don't Suck every Wednesday starting at 11. And uh, yeah, I'm going to be in Chicago. Me and Carly Aquilino are going out to Chicago in July. So make sure you come out for that. Is it too early to plug the World Star Hip Hop Comedy Show? Oh, shit. Yeah, we should talk about that. It's August 23rd. We'll talk about it, man. That's all I know right now. No, but well, you're I just hosting. Know it's August 23rd. So yeah. World Star Hip Hop is doing a comedy tour. Charlamagne is going to be hosting it. Uh-huh. And uh, I'm going to be on, on this one up in um, Foxwoods. Foxwoods. 
at Foxwoods, and it's on the 23rd of August. August. And uh, there are a couple other comics really funny. James on Davis it. is on there. James, Michael Che, yeah. Byron Bowers, who yeah. I don't know if you know, but he's a funny dude. Yeah. And uh, I'm stoked for it, man. It'll be it fun. It should be dope. It's bought, by, it's bought to you by CAA, so that's always a good thing, right? Absolutely. So we'll stage a couple fights since it's world stuff. <laughs> that's, you know? That's the show you don't want to bomb on. You know. <laughs> like, if there's one comedy show you no. don't want to go badly, it's at the world stuff hip hop comedy show. Because it's going to end up on world stuff. <laughs> Someone's going to get booed that night. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Well, well, thank y'all for joining us. Right. And, and as always, if you uh, were listening to this podcast and you know you thought the things we were saying were uh, on point and you thought that we were brilliant, you're right. Absolutely. But if you <laughs> thought that you know we, we don't know what the fuck we're talking about and we're a bunch of idiots, you're also right too. 100%. That's why it's called the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Mm-hmm. I love it. Thank you. We'll see you next week. Thank you, Terry. Thank you. Peace.